everybody. From the Coliseum here in Southern California in Los Angeles, the meeting again between Southern California and the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. And what, a, what an afternoon for it. It's heavily overcast. The indications are that we may have showers throughout the day. We had a light rainfall this morning, and this may be a hindrance, of course, to the passing games. It's a soggy field out here at the Coliseum, so it is very probable that it will also hinder the running game. And here on hand, in Los Angeles, to bring you the play-by-play -play action, the sports director of the Mutual Broadcasting System, and the football voice of Notre Dame, Van Patrick. Thank you very much, Al Wester, and let's go. Daryl Dewan is going back in the deep spot for Notre Dame. We've got a little bit of a switch back there for Notre Dame, and the other man back there for the Fighting Irish. Daryl Dewan I have, and the other man is Parker, and the ball goes out of the field to play as Ayala kicks it off. So it'll be brought back out to the 20-yard line, where it'll be first down and 10 to go for Notre Dame. Fighting Irish with the football now. They have Dan Novikoff at center, Gary Koss and Jim Humbert at the guards, Mike Merton, and John Dampier at the tackles, Craney and Gatewood at the ends, Joe Theismann, the quarterback. We'll check the rest of the backs as they come out of the huddle. Southern California with Weaver, Vela, Nielsen, and Hall up front. Now Notre Dame, Bill Trapp is in there and is put out wide to the right. And Gatewood is deployed out to the left and Theismann back to throw, throws to Trapp at the 25-yard line. He stepped out on the 24 and Bruce Dyer, the defensive back over on the left side from Dearborn Heights, Michigan, is the man who chased him out of bounds. So a gain of four yards on the play. It'll be second down coming up. John Chiskowski is in there at fullback for Notre Dame. Bill Trapp is in there at the flanker black out to the wide to the right. Split to the left now is Gatewood. Creedy's the tight end on the right side. Waiting for it is Theismann again. He's back throws and this one is tipped. Batted down incomplete. An incomplete pass intended for Gatewood out in the left flat. One of those big Southern California linemen reached up and got a hand on that one. John Scouts is a man banned from Bakersfield, California. And Southern California is set up now to use a five-man front with two linebackers. Skiles moving into the starting lineup and sliding in there is that fifth man in the middle. It'll Hall, Grant, Vela, and Weaver along with Skiles up there in that front rush. Dewan is in there now replacing Bill Trapp. He split out to the left, back goes Theismann to throw again. He looks downfield, throws to Gatewood. He's got it at the 40-yard line. Fights his way forward to about the 43 before he's hauled down by the safety man, Ron Ayala, the kicker from Lakewood, California. 5'9", 175-pound senior. So mark the ball on the 43-yard line, a 19-yard gain on the play. It'll be first down and 10 to go for Notre Dame. The Fighting Irish back in the huddle again. First and 10 from their own 43-yard line. Very overcast. We may have rain any moment here in Southern California. Now they're in the wishbone formation. One flanker, Gatewood, and the give is to the fullback, Jaskowski. He's to the 46, getting three yards on the play, and he's hauled down. Jaskowski. Right on the 46-yard line. Slough is in there, the middle backer, along with Bruce Dyer, the cornerback on the left side. And John Vela, the left tackle of Southern California. It'll be second down and seven yards to go. We're in the first quarter here at the Coliseum in Los Angeles, California. That clock up there, Al, is not moving around today. It's stationary. Just clicking off on the middle there, Van, and that's about what we'll have to follow. Gatewood split out to the left. The give this time is to Darrell Dewan, and Dewan gets to about the 43, getting back to about the line of scrimmage, or 48, rather, and he is pulled down in there by Kent Carter and Greg Slough, the middle backer, and also Papadakis, the left linebacker from Rolling Hills. So they move the ball on the 48-yard line, where it'll be third down. Five yards to go for Notre Dame. So now the crowd begins to yell for the defensive unit of Southern California to go to work. Wide to the right now is Tom Gatewood. Darrell Dewan is put out to the left. They're in a double wing. Waiting for it is Theismann. He's going back to throw. Dumps it over the middle to Sikowski. Sikowski is to the 40, to the 39. He's pulled out on the Southern California 39 by Kent Carter. Well, I think Southern California, again, uh, had started to put the pressure on quarterback uh, Joe Theismann. They elected to uh, push the linebackers in there, Slough and Papadakis. And, of course, with the five-man uh, line already up there, Skiles is sitting in one of the tackle spots, John Bella, over in the middle. They've got a five-man line rushing at all times. Here's the give to the fullback. Jaskowski spinning on the line. He gets a couple of yards, that's all, running off right guard, trying to follow Gary Koss of Minneapolis, Minnesota. He got a couple of yards. Greg Slough was in on the tackle. Joe Theismann, 122 completions and 210 attempts, 
Good for 1,903 yards and 14 touchdowns. In the way of receivers, Tom Gatewood has caught 67. Ball is on the 42. It's second down and eight yards to go now for Notre Dame. In the power eye formation, waiting for it is Theismann. Theismann's going back to pass, gets protection. Now he's in trouble, rolls out the right, looking for a receiver. He's going to run with the ball. He's down to the 35, and he's finally knocked out of bounds on the 34-yard line. He got into trouble. His receivers were covered, and finally Greg Slough, the middle backer of Southern California, chased him out of bounds. Little Joe Theismann, who's a Houdini back there, moved that ball to the 34-yard line. So it will be third down coming up for Notre Dame and four yards to go. Third and about four, Van, and in this instance, uh, Joe was looking for a would-be receiver. He tried to throw the football, realized he couldn't. The pressure again applied to him. They had six men charging in there on the quarterback. He came down the sidelines for the game. Wide to the right now is Dewan. Split out to the left is Tom Gatewood. Heisman going back, throws a sideline pass out there to Daryl Dewan. And Dewan is pulled down at the 31-yard line. He's a yard shy of the first down, and Charlie Weaver from Richmond is the man who made the tackle for Southern California. So it'll be fourth down of the yard to go, and uh, Yoder, who did such a tremendous job against LSU last week, is staying right on the bench, Al, and so we're going to get Notre Dame trying for that first down with fourth and one from the 31 of Southern California. 11 minutes and 55 seconds to play in the first quarter. The power eye formation with Gatewood barking out the signals now and looking in there on the offense and the give is to the running back Julius who cracks off right tackle and he is in there for the first down. The third first down for Notre Dame. Gatewood was saying something there the offensively as he was yelling out a signal but Joe Theismann gave it off to Julius. Julius off right tackle got it to the 28 yard line where it's first down and 10 to go. Notre Dame gambling on the fourth down and picking up the first down. Gatewood dropping off to the right. Bruce Dyer is over to cover him one-on-one. Theismann on a give now to Dewan. Dewan dives to the 25, getting free on the play. Greg Slough, the middle backer, along with John Papadakis making the tackle. Second down coming up, seven yards to go. Notre Dame with the football on the 25-yard line of Southern California. In the first quarter, there's no score. 11 minutes of playing time remaining. Navy beat the Army today. Here's the wishbone formation. Joe Theismann with Gatewood out to the left. And Theismann now on the keepers down to the 20. Stays on his feet in the 15 to the 10. He's down to the 5. It's a touchdown for Notre Dame. Joe Theismann on a brilliant run. What a magnificent play for little Joe. Here's something, Ben, I know he's always wanted to do to get his football team an undefeated season, and he is on the way now. He's got the first touchdown on the scoreboard. You know, oddly enough, Dan, Theismann's starting assignment for Notre Dame came in the Southern California game three years ago. He caught 13 passes in the... Uh, he caught a 13-yard touchdown pass there in that ball game against Southern Cal two years ago. Here's the kick. It's up. The kick is good. The score now is Notre Dame 7, Southern California nothing. We'll be back with a Notre Dame kickoff in just a moment. Notre Dame will kick off, Southern California will receive. And I think, Ben, uh, the indication of what's going to be prevalent this afternoon on that field out there, we have just seen in this first drive. 80 yards in 12 plays, a 25-yard touchdown run by Joe Theismann to put the first touchdown, the first score on the scoreboard. Notre Dame leads 7-0. There is 10 minutes and 53 seconds remaining in the first period. The Irish are set to kick off. Davis deep along with Lou Harris for Southern California. Smith will kick off for Notre Dame. The Irish leading 7-0. The soccer style kick is coming down to about the 13-yard line. Back to the 20, back to the 25, and running it back is Lou Harris who's from Sacramento, California. He's brought down as he reaches the 30-yard line. So it'll be first down and 10 to go now for Southern California. They have the ball on their own 30. West Virginia defeated Maryland 20 to 10. Tennessee is leading Vanderbilt 14 to 6 in the third quarter. Georgia Tech 17 to 7 over Georgia. Alabama leading Auburn 17 to 10. SMU trailing TCU 19 to 17 at the half. The I formation to give now is to the fullback running straight ahead Davis. And Davis is hauled down on about the 33-yard line. Gain on the play of three yards. It'll be second down and seven. In the bottom of the pile for Notre Dame was Kadish. 
Mike Zekas is out of this ball game. He suffered a broken arm during the week. So it will be second down and seven yards to go for Southern California. They have Dickerson and Mullins in there at the ends. Jimmy Jones, the quarterback. Davis, Cunningham, and Chandler in that backfield. And Chandler stood out wide to the left. Dickerson is also a fine receiver. And here's Jones rolling out the right looking for a receiver. He hits one over on the right flat at the 40 to the 45. On down to the 50. And to the 47-yard line goes Charlie Evans, who floated out of the backfield and over in the right flat. Little safety valve pass, and Jones hit him perfectly. Hits the first down for Southern California with the ball on the 47-yard line of Notre Dame. That's the ninth pass this year they've thrown to Charlie Evans, the senior from Gardena. Actually, he has not used the rollout pattern too much to Evans. The passes have gone instead to uh, Clarence Davis and to uh, Sam Cunningham. They flood the zone to the right this time in the pro set. Waiting for it is Jones, the quarterback. And Jones on a give to Cunningham. And Cunningham running off right tackle to the 45-yard line and is brought down on the 45. Kadish in there on the tackle again for Notre Dame as they mark the ball on the 45. Clarence Davis, 181 carries, 881 yards. He's averaged 4.9. Sam Cunningham, 74 carries for 490. Alabama leading Auburn now. No, they're tied now. They've tied up the game at 17-all. Two flankers out to the right again as Jones calls the signals from the 45-yard line. Third down coming up for Southern California. And he gives it off to Davis. Davis running wide to the 40, turns the corner to 35, goes on down to the 30, and is pulled out of bounds as he reaches the 29-yard line. So Southern California is coming right back. Greg Marks. Over there with Fatulski, and they finally forced him out of bounds on the 29-yard line. It's a first down for Southern California. Ralph Stefaniak came across the course from the corner there, Van. Got him in the back of the uh, football trousers and managed to yank him to a halt and set him up for the tackle to be made. But when you've got a fellow like Clarence Davis with all the speed this fellow's got, believe me, he'll drive you crazy the way he runs. He has seven touchdowns scored running this year. Two flankers again, they're in the I formation, waiting for it is Jones. Jones is going back to pass, finds a man out on the right flat out there open, and that is Chandler, and Chandler is bumped out of bounds down on the 10-yard line. Another first down for Southern California. That's three first downs, and the Trojans, who were trailing 7-0, are coming right back, 19 yards gained on that play. And I've got to believe that uh, the fine play action by Southern California on that play, they gave it a lot of play action up the middle, Got the man out uh, on the far sidelines there, and he was, as you said, wide open. Nobody within five yards of him when uh, the quarterback, Jimmy Jones, dropped back and threw the strike. Dickerson and Chandler are both on the right side. The I formation with the first down and goal to go. They go into the pro set, and two Notre Dame men jumped across the line. Now let's see whether Southern California pulled them off or not. We are in the first quarter with nine minutes to play, and Notre Dame leading by a score of 7 to nothing. Mullins is in a tight end now, replacing Young. The penalty is against Southern California. Illegal procedure, which drew Notre Dame offside. Checking in now is Chuck Jacques. Coming in for Notre Dame, replacing a linebacker, number 45, Eric Patton. And Young has gone out. Mullins in at the tight end for Southern California. Two flankers again. They're in the I formation with a first down and 15 yards to go from the 15-yard line. Jones calling the signals. Jones on a give now to his running back again. A flag is down. Davis is hit as he reaches about the 13-yard line, but a flag is down. Big roar over there from the Southern California side. It's holding against Notre Dame. Van Notre Dame was blitzing with Rich Thoman and Jim Wright, two of the four linebackers. And Notre Dame, of course, uh, we've many times pointed this out, and the Irish fans know, play the 4-4-2-1 defense. Uh, they will have four men on that front line, uh, Neidert, Marks, uh, Kadish, and Potolsky, and backing them up, uh, the four linebackers, Rick Thoman, Tim Kelly on the outsides, Jim Wright, Eric Patton on the insides. The two corners are Clarence Ellis and Ralph Stefaniak. Mike Crotty, usually playing that safety spot, comes in there real tight. They fold in inside the 20-yard line very well. And uh, on that last play, they had both linebackers, Thoman and Wright, blitzing on the play. So they had them in there in the backfield. Thoman was key on making the tackle. 
Dickerson and Chandler flanked out the right. It's the first down from the eight-yard line after the holding penalty against Notre Dame. Pitches back to Davis. Davis at the five, and he's tackled on the two-yard line on a power sweep around the left side. In there was Kapaniak to make the tackle for Notre Dame. And so the Southern California Trajan, Trojans, trailing by a score of 7 nothing, are bounding right back, and they have the ball now marked on the three-yard line where it's second down and goal to go for Southern California. They're interchanging Mullins and Young, indicating they're calling the signals from the bench for Southern California. Notre Dame leading by a score of 7 nothing here in the first quarter. Now Dickerson and Chandler are both flanked out wide on the right side. And Jones on a pitch back to Davis. And Davis down to the goal line is in the end zone. Touchdown, Southern California. So the Trojans, after being stung by a 25-yard touchdown run by Joe Theismann, have come back after the kickoff and marched 70 yards and eight plays with Davis carrying on the last three to move into the end zone and a chance to tie it up now as Ayala is in to do the kicking. Ayala, who's the all-around handy kicker, and the kick is up, and the kick is good. So the scores, Notre Dame 7, Southern California 7. We'll be back with the Southern California kickoff in just a moment. Down there with the ball down is Ron Ayala, and Notre Dame is ready to receive. Well, one thing about it, Al, the fast touchdown by Notre Dame didn't shake Southern California too much. They came right back with a 70-yard drive to tie this ball game. That's right, Van, and uh, I must say that they did it impressively. They did it uh, with a good deal of action on the ground. Uh, their play action looked awfully good. Uh, they used that twice, and, uh, of course, uh, their quarterback throws that football with authority. He's one of the fine young quarterbacks on the Pacific Coast. Dewan is deep along with Parker. Ayala will kick off, and he moves forward, and here's the booth. Kind of a spinning kick. Bounces around. It's taken by Dewan at the 10. He's back to the 20, 25. Comes on up to the 30, to the 33-yard line before he's hauled down. So it'll be first down and 10 to go. Bob Erickson is the man who made the tackle there for Southern California. So it'll be first down and 10 to go for Notre Dame from their own 33-yard line. 23-yard return by Darrell Dewan. That was sort of a floating kick that bounced around. Gatewood is the flanker, out to the right. It's the wishbone formation with Joe Theismann, the quarterback. Theismann, a keeper, and he tries left guard. He gets just about a half a yard. He runs into Charlie Weaver over there, along with Nielsen, the right tackle of Southern California, and they haul him down. He got exactly a half a yard. So make it now second down, and let's just call it nine yards to go. Clock shows seven minutes and 40 seconds of playing time remaining in the first quarter. Scores Notre Dame seven and Southern California seven. Notre Dame with Gatewood flanked out wide to the right, the second leading pass receiver in the nation. And they split Goulias out to the left in the I formation. Chiskowski is in there at fullback, and here's Theismann going back to pass. He throws one deep to Creeney, and it's incomplete and almost intercepted by Ayala. He had a hand on that ball and almost picked it away there. Creeney was the intended receiver, the tight end who had gone deep, incomplete. Ron Ayala, he has seven interceptions so far this year. He is not actually that speedy van he doesn't have all that speed but this young fella apparently is capable of uh, in his mind of placing himself in the right positions uh, the publicity director was telling me that uh, the lack of speed that was made up of the knowledge of the game Heisman is going back to throw again he's in trouble to haul down back on the 23 yard line and Nielsen went pouring through there that time to bring him down Bella was also in on the tackle on the 25-yard line, and listen to this crowd at Southern California. It was six years ago to the day that the Irish came to Los Angeles undefeated and playing for the national championship. The Trojans were 6-3 that season. Notre Dame was 9-0. A great upset that day, 20-17. And Hudson is back in the safety spot. High pass from center to Yoder, but he gets it away. High floating kick coming down on the 45-yard line. Hudson... Moves forward about three yards, and he's dumped on the 48-yard line. So Southern California with good field position. 
They have the ball on their own 48-yard line, a 30-yard kick and a three-yard return. So it's first down and 10 to go now for the Southern California Trojans. Southern California back in the huddle, out of it they come with Dickerson and Chandler flanked out to the right. They're in the I formation. Notre Dame has six men up front defensively, moving a linebacker up and waiting for it now is Jones, the quarterback. Jones on a give to Davis. Davis trying right guard, gets to the midfield stripe and possibly into Notre Dame territory and Marks and Kadish went on the tackle for Notre Dame as they bring him down right on the 49 and a half yard line. Let's call it the 49, give him a couple of yards, make it second down and eight. Now we got a change in the backfield. Charlie Evans has gone out. Sam Cunningham has replaced him at fullback for Southern California. Dickerson and Chandler are both flanked on the right side. It's the I formation again. Now they go into the pro set. Waiting for it is Jones, and Jones is going back to throw. Stays in the pocket, gets protection, fires one. It is caught at the 28-yard line. On down to the 20 goes Davis, and Davis has finally bumped out of bounds. Down on the Notre Dame, 18-yard line by Mike Crotty. And Jones is getting great protection, giving his receivers time to get downfield and get over. And, of course, rolling a man out of the backfield with the great speed that Clarence Davis has. Down the sidelines he went, and I mean he got in the pocket there, in between the cornerback, just behind uh, the cornerback and, uh, and uh, the linebackers. Got in there, made the grab, is out of bounds at about the 18-yard line. 32 yards gained on the play, first down of the 18. The pitch back now to Davis again. He's cutting in over left tackle, gets to the 15 and down to the Notre Dame 14. And in there to make the tackle was Crotty, along with Rick Tobin. Down on Tabaniak, coming up from the secondary on the 14-yard line, a gain of four on the play. And now uh, Evans is going out. Cunningham is coming back in at fullback for Southern California. So the Trojans are down threatening again as they have tied up this ball game at 7-7. They move uh, Chandler wide to the right. Dickerson is split out to the left. Jones, the quarterback, barking out the signals. Jones is going back to throw. Look at the time he's getting. The pass is caught down on the five-yard line. And the tackle is made immediately on Chandler by Stepaniak, but they've got a first down on the five-yard line of Notre Dame. Then I've got to believe that uh, the defensive backs, the deep backs now for Notre Dame, have been playing these receivers a little bit too deep, about a step or a step and a half too deep. And very quickly, I am sure, that that will be corrected. Uh, George Kelly, Paul Schultz with the secondary of Notre Dame will uh, change that very quickly. But Southern Cal really can throw the football. Ball on the five yard line, it's first down and goal to go. The pitch back now to Davis. Davis around the right side, power sweep, touchdown Southern California, the Trojans lead. the kick by Ayala it's up in the air but no good no good so the score now is Southern California 13 Notre Dame 7 will be back with the Southern California kickoff in just a moment Ayala will kick off Dewan is deep along with Parker it's a good high end over end kick taken by Dewan on the goal line he's back to the 5 10 15 20 following his blockers to the 25 comes on up to the 28 yard line and is tackled on the 28-yard line by Kent Carter, number 87, a linebacker from Los Angeles. So it'll be Notre Dame's ball, first down and 10 to go. As you know, Van, this is uh, only the third time this year that we've trailed in a football game. Notre Dame has got a battle on their hands again. Gatewood is flanked out wide to the right. Waiting for it is Joe Theismann. Theismann on a give to Darrell Dewan, who's going wide. And he is tackled as he reaches the 27-yard line. And in there making the tackle was Kent Carter from Los Angeles, 6'3", 215-pound rover back. So they'll mark the ball on the 28-yard line where it'll be a yard loss on the play. It'll be second down, 11 yards to go. Southern California leading Notre Dame by a score of 13-7. We've got four minutes and 15 seconds of playing time remaining in the first quarter. 
Wide to the right is Daryl Dewan. Tom Gatewood is deployed out to the left in the I formation. Waiting for it is Seisman, and Seisman is going back to pass. Stays in the pocket, throws it incomplete. He's going short of the tight end, Creedy. Creedy had gone down the right sideline over to cover for Southern California. It was Carter again, and they call him the rover back, and he's aptly named now. Man, he gets out uh, all over that field and uh, gives you good rush sometimes. Sometimes you see him drop up into the line there. And then now for our Notre Dame, number 18, Bob Menix has put out to the right, Theismann back to throw, rolling out to the right, looking for a receiver. He's in all kinds of trouble, reverses his field, goes to the other side, gets a block, he's at the 30, comes on up to the 37, fumbles the ball, let's see who got it. The whistle is blown on the 36-yard line. Joe Theismann getting into all kinds of trouble, reversed his field, went to the other side, couldn't find anybody open, had to stay with that football. So they'll mark the ball on the 36-yard line, where it will be fourth down, and Jim Yoder comes in to do the kicking now for Notre Dame. So the Irish, Yoder, 35 kicks this year, average 39.2. And as Bill mentioned, uh, they are finding the going a little rough here against the fired-up Southern California team in the first quarter. Hudson is deep. Yoder booms this one downfield. Hudson has to go back to field the ball on the 26. 35 for the 40. Comes on back to the 43-yard line with it, which matches the number on his jersey. It'll be first down and 10 to go for Southern California from their own 43-yard line. 38-yard kick and a 17-yard return. Chiskowski made the tackle, Van. On the punt team there, it was uh, the big fullback, John Chiskowski of Detroit, Michigan, who made the tackle. But did you see that fella come right back up an alley of white jerseys there? He really has a great running ability. Here's the I formation with Dickerson off to the right side, along with Chandler. Waiting for it is Jones, and Jones tripped as he went back, so he'll be down on the 35. He was going back to pass. He tripped over one of his backs. Fell down on the 35-yard line. Let's see what the officials mark at the 36. He lost seven yards on the play. It'll be second down and 17 yards to go. Clock shows two minutes and 40 seconds of playing time remaining in the first quarter. They keep changing the two tight ends, Mullins and Young, and they're calling the signals, I'm sure, from the bench here for Southern California. I don't know who's calling him, but he's doing a pretty good job. Yeah, he's quarterbacking pretty well. Dickerson and Chandler both on the right side. In the pro set, waiting for it is Jones. Jones is going back to throw again. He throws a little screen pass out the left flat at the 35-yard line to Davis at the 40. Davis at the 46. He's hauled down on the 46-yard line. Stepaniak was in there on the tackle along with Toman of Notre Dame. A screen pass out of the left flat. Move that ball to the 46. So it'll be third down and seven yards to go now for Southern California. The Trojans are leading Notre Dame 13 to seven with a minute and 55 seconds to play in the first quarter. Mullins and Young interchanging again. Chandler goes to the right side. Sam Dickerson is split to the left. They're in an eye formation now with Davis in the top of the eye. Waiting for it is Jones, the quarterback, and he's going back to throw again. He gets time. He looks, throws a swing pass in the right flat. It's completed out there to the fullback. He's on down to the 45-yard line before he's brought down. He swung it back out of there. Charlie Evans again out of the right flat. Evans on the 45-yard line. That's six first downs for Southern California. And listen to this crowd here today. First and ten to go now. Cunningham is back in, replacing Charlie Evans at fullback. Dickerson and Chandler on the right side. The ball is on the Notre Dame 45-yard line. And look at the protection, the great line blocking up front. That's making the difference for Southern California. And Jones is going back. Look at the time he's got. He goes for the home run ball, and it is caught for a touchdown. It is caught by Sam Dickerson in the end zone. Touchdown, Southern California. him and he still caught that ball. Fifty-seven yards in four plays. Notre Dame trailing 19 to 7 in the first quarter with 57 seconds to play in the first quarter. 
Jones is seven out of seven for 143 yards. They're gonna go for two points. And Jones back to throw, look through, caught! Another sensational catch by Chandler. A sensational catch by Chandler. And at Southern California 21, Notre Dame 7, we'll be back with a Southern Cal kickoff in just a moment. Well, Van, if you remember, Moose Krause, Ed Moose Krause, the athletic director of Notre Dame, pointed out to us earlier that uh, this team had it all if they put it together, and it looks like they're putting it together. Here's a kickoff down to Parker in the end zone. He elects not to run it out. So it'll be brought back out to the 20-yard line, where it'll be first down and 10 to go for Notre Dame, trailing 21-7 to here in the first quarter of this game at Southern California. Almost unbelievable the way the Trojans have gone and uh, Jones with seven out of seven. And the line blocking up front, Al, is making the difference for Southern California. That's right. Uh, the defensive unit of Notre Dame has not been able to get to the quarterback this afternoon, Ben. Rice leading Baylor 28 to 16 in the third quarter. Heisman now will have to take to the air. He throws a swing pass out in the left flat. It's completed to Gullius. Gullius gets a block. Gullius is at the 40. He's up to the 45. He's finally hauled down from behind on the 48, but there's a flag on the play. On the 48-yard line, they finally haul Gullius down, but he might be clipping against Notre Dame. John Dampier down there talking to the official, but they've whistled it back. Joe Theismann will have to play catch-up football. He's trailing 21 to 7 here in the first quarter with 45 seconds, flipping against Notre Dame. Number 75, John Bella, the tackle is going out. 6'4, 245 pounds is going out. John Skiles is coming in to replace him at tackle for Southern California. First and 21 to go now for a Notre Dame penalty, 17 yards. Ball back on the 8-yard line. Eisman giving on the draw play this time to Gullius. Gullius gets a block, comes up to the 15-yard line with it. And he is tackled right there, making the tackle number 92. In there for Notre Dame was Hottie Smith, along with Greg Slough, the middle backer. Ball on the 15-yard line. Notre Dame back in the huddle again. Clock running out here with only 20 seconds of playing time remaining in the first quarter. Southern California leading Notre Dame 21 to 7. Tom Gatewood flanked out to the right. Gullius is split out to the left. Theismann now on a give to his fullback. Running off left guard to just about the 17-yard line. Toddy Carey. And that's the end of the first quarter with a score. Southern California 21, Notre Dame 7. Well, Van, that's about 83 yards, if my arithmetic is right, from where that football and the line of scrimmage is to get it in for a touchdown. And that's the job that quarterback Joe Theismann must concentrate on as they break the huddle. He's got third and 13 to go from the 17-yard line of Notre Dame. In a slot formation, Theismann back to throw, stays in the pocket, runs out of it now as he gets in trouble, and he fires one deep to Creeney. He's got it at the 45, he's at the 50, the 45, the 40. Creeney is down to the 36-yard line. The ball is picked up there by Southern California, and it's fumbled by Creeney and Dyer picks it up for the Trojans. Creeney is talking with the official. He thought the whistle had blown. I am sure that Creeney felt the whistle had blown. He was down on the ground when that ball slipped out of his hand. It was picked up by a Trojan who started to return it, had returned it about eight yards. The whistle continued to blow. The ball is brought back. Southern California takes possession on a fumble after a great pass play. A tremendous effort by Joe Theismann. Southern Cal has the ball at that 37. 47 yards on the play, but Southern California has the football on the 36, and Jones is back to pass. The flag is down. The pass is incomplete. Ellis had the ball in his hands, intended for Chandler, and couldn't hold it. Oklahoma, 66. Oklahoma State, 6. Final score. And Memphis State, 14. Cincinnati, 10. That's the final score. The penalty will be assessed against Southern California. Backfield in motion penalty declined by Notre Dame. The give is to the fullback now. Davis. Davis at the 40. He gang tackled finally as he reaches the 41 or 2 yard line. Mike Crotty in there in the bottom of the pile along with Bob Neidert to make the tackle. 
So they'll place the ball on the 41-yard line. It'll be a gain on the play of five yards. Second down and five to go. Southern California leading by a score of 21 to 7 as we play here in the second quarter. Now Cunningham is replacing Charlie Evans at fullback for Southern California. Dickerson and Chandler are flanked out wide to the right. Jones calling the signals for Southern California. He's got third down and five yards to go. Jones on a pitch back now to Davis. Davis cuts in, gets a few yards, is knocked out of bounds up around the neighborhood of the 45-yard line where he'll be a little short of the first down. Let's see where they mark him going out of bounds. Stepaniak is the man who knocked him out of bounds for Notre Dame. So they'll place the ball on the 45-yard line, which means he'll be short of a first down. That brings up a fourth down. Let's see if Southern California, Southern California, leading by a score of 21 to 7, gets Ayala in there to do the kicking. Crotty is going back here in the safety spot. And number 23, Ellis. Ayala back to kick. Low end over end kick. Bounces around, finally rolls to a stop on the 27-yard line. It'll be first down and 10 to go now for Notre Dame. 28-yard kick on the part of Ayala. It'll be first and 10 for Notre Dame from their own 27-yard line, or 28 when they place it down to 28. First and 10 from that point. 21 to 7, Southern California leading Notre Dame. Almost unbelievable. The Raiders and Trojans came back after spotting Notre Dame. A fast touchdown. The Irish out of the huddle. They send DeWan out wide to the left. Tom Gatewood is flanked out to the right side in the I formation. And Seisman rolling out to the left, looking for a receiver. Throws one completed at the 35-yard line to Tchaikovsky. Tchaikovsky takes it onto the 43-yard line before he's hauled down from behind by Kent Carter, the roverback. There's that roverback again, Van. Carter moves beautifully laterally across that field. He covers a lot of ground, and he uh, was responsible for that last tackle and has been on, a, on about a half a dozen tackles here in the first half. About 13 minutes remaining in the first half, the Irish trailing 21-7. 15 yards gained on that pass play to John Jaskowski. Gatewood is flanked to the right, DeWan to the left, waiting for it as Seisman again. He rolls out the right, looking for a receiver, throws one over the middle at the 50-yard line. It's completed to the 48-yard line. Goes Jaskowski, the fullback, grabbing his second straight pass. Greg Slough is the man who brought him down. So little Joe Seisman has his ball club moving now, but they're trailing 21-7. to They're flooding the zone over there, Van. They had three men in the zone over there. They had Mike Creaney. Uh, they had uh, Daryl Dewan over there, and they had John Chiskowski. Ready to go with one flanker out wide to the left, waiting for it is Seisman. He's rolling out to the left. The pressure is on him. He throws to Gatewood, incomplete. Gatewood was covered by Bruce Dyer. The pass was incomplete, but they're putting the pressure on Seisman. He had to get rid of the ball in a hurry. He didn't give Gatewood a chance to get into the open. Florida 13, Miami of Florida, would you believe this? 14. 14 to 13, Miami of Florida has upset Florida. There is one of the big upsets of the year, Van. No question. Here's the power eye formation. Waiting for it is Seisman, and Seisman on a give now to DeWan, and he goes nowhere. He is bumped right at the line and then shoved right back. Rover back, Kent Carter hitting first. And Skiles, the defensive right tackle from Bakersfield. Ball on the 49-yard line. It'll be fourth down, Notre Dame. Fourth down and about three yards to go. Yoder's in to do the kicking. Theisman comes out. Hudson is going deep now for Southern California. Jim Yoder standing back on about the 37-yard line. Waiting for the snap. Steve Buch is in there to do the centering. And the kick is away. Yoder booms this one deep. Hudson is calling for a fair catch. Let's the ball roll. It goes on down to the end zone. So it'll be brought back out to the 20-yard line. A kick of 49 yards on the part of Jim Yoder. Southern California breaks the huddle and comes up to the line of scrimmage with a first down at their 20. Van? Dickerson and Chander flanked out to the right. Jones calling the signals, gives that ball off to Davis again, and Davis running off left guard, gets to the 24-yard line with it. And the tackle is made right there. Stepaniak coming up along with Walt Patulski, the defensive end who played so great last week against LSU. And Mike Crotty coming up from the secondary, so they'll mark the ball on the 24. It'll be second down and six yards to go for Southern California. Trojans out of the huddle. Dickerson is flanked out to the right. Split out there with uh, Chandler again. Davis in 11 carries has gained 50 yards. 
Waiting for it as Jones gives it to him again, and he's hit at the 25 this time and knocked right back by the middle of that Notre Dame line. Jim Wright of Notre Dame, and number 72, Mike Kadish. They mark the ball on the 25-yard line. It'll be third down at five yards to go for Southern California from that point. Boston College land based at Holy Cross today. Out of the huddle now, Southern California. Sterling over the ball, grabbing. Put out, now they go into a slot formation and drop Davis in the slot to the right. And him all the way and he was out there by himself if you note it was Eric Patton who wrestled him down from behind on the tackle another touchdown and uh, the Trojans would really have busted this thing open first and ten now from the 48 yard line of Notre Dame he's trying the middle of the Notre Dame line gets to about the 46 yard line there he is brought down Kelly coming in there along with Patton and Kadish and Marks, the two tackles, checking in as Chuck Schlock into the secondary for Notre Dame, and coming out of there is the linebacker, Patton. Ball is on the 46-yard line. The series of downs originating on the 48, so it's second down and eight yards to go now for Southern California with the ball on the Notre Dame 46. Dickerson is flanked to the right. Chandler is put out to the left in the formation. Jones with a second down is going back to pass. He looks, he throws, and it's incomplete. Intended over there for Bob Chandler in the left flat, but incomplete. He was covered by Stepaniak, but it's incomplete, which brings up a third and eighth situation now for Southern California. Trojans are leading 21 to 7. We've got eight minutes and 57 seconds to play. Rod McNeil is coming in the backfield. Clarence Davis for Southern California. Ball resting on the 46-yard line of Notre Dame. Third down, eight yards to go. Dickerson and Chandler, the two fine receivers, flanked out to the right again for Southern California. And Evans and McNeil are the setbacks, and here's Jones going back. He flips one out there in the left flat that's completed, but McNeil is tackled immediately on the 45-yard line. He lost yardage on the play. Jim Wright was blitzing on the play, man. He really put... He got back there on top of Jones. He came firing through a hole there. Got back there on top of Jones so fast that he had no other opportunity except to throw it in a hurry. He threw it out there. McNeil had it and was down behind the line of scrimmage. And Southern Cattle will have to punt. Fourth down, about 17 yards to go. Ayala gets his kick away. Short kick. It's rolling around and finally goes out of bounds on the 34-yard line in Notre Dame territory. So it'll be first down and 10 to go. Check where it went out. It'll be around the 38. They're going to mark it. Notre Dame's ball, first down and 10 to go from the Notre Dame 34-yard line as we go back to work with Southern California leading by a score of 21 to 7. The Irish trying to regroup here after getting on the short end of the score. Tom Gatewood out wide to the left. Darrell Dewan is flanked out to the right. They line up in the I formation. Creaney the tight end on the left side. Joe Theismann the quarterback. And Theismann is going back to throw. He looks, he throws deep to Gatewood at the 45. He's at the 40. Gatewood fights his way on down to the 38-yard line. Gaiela makes a tackle. A flag is down. A flag is down. It may be a personal foul against Southern California. Let's see. I've got a feeling it's going to be against the rover back, Kent Carter. Uh, the officials are indicating it is against Southern California. And as you said, Van, it is going to be... A 15-yarder, a big penalty, which moved the Irish now down deep into Southern California territory. 15-yard stepped off, and it was against the rover back, Kent Carter. After the uh, Notre Dame man had been stopped, he piled into the group and uh, knocked them all down. The ball is brought down to the 23-yard line of Southern California. Notre Dame has a first down. Waiting for it now is Joe Theismann with two flankers. Theismann back to throw. Has to run out of the pocket. He looks. He throws to the end zone to Creaney. He can't reach it. It's tipped away. It was tipped away in the end zone by Greg Slough and just barely tipped out of his hands. So they'll bring it right back to the 23-yard line where it'll be second down and 10 to go for Notre Dame. 
trailing by a score of 21 to 7, but the one thing that Notre Dame has got to do right now is get on that board, which might turn the game around a little. Heisman has attempted 13 passes, completed 8 for 137 yards. He scored one touchdown on a 25-yard run. Wide to the left is Gatewood. In the slot to the left now, they send uh, Goulias out to the left, and Gatewood goes in tight. And back goes Theismann again, and he throws to Gatewood incomplete at the 11. That stops the clock again. Kent Carter over there to cover. He's the rover back, and he keeps moving around in there defensively for Southern California. Pass incomplete. Back to the 23. Where it'll be third down. It's beginning to rain here now at the Coliseum in Los Angeles, and as Bill mentioned, the lights are on. Ball on the 23-yard line. Notre Dame breaks out of the huddle. They send Tom Gatewood out wide to the right. Ed Goulias is flanked out to the left. Waiting for it now is the quarterback, Seisman, and Seisman is going back to throw once more. He looks, he throws, it's completed to the one at the 20. He's the 15, he's down to the 10, he's down to the nine-yard line. It's a first down, I believe. Let's see where they're going to mark that ball. It'll be a first down on the nine-yard line of Southern California. Ayla and Slough are the two men who brought him down. Now the Irish are cranking it up. They've got their short passing game clicking. They tried the long one a moment ago. It went astray. They tried to get it into the end zone to Mike Creaney, and of course uh, that did not work. And now inside the 10-yard line, Notre Dame with a first down and a goal to go. That's six first downs for Notre Dame. Two flankers, they're in the I formation. Eisman now rolling out to the left, looking for a receiver, dumps one out there, it's completed to Skowski, and he battles his way into the end zone, it's a touchdown for Notre Dame. And did they have pressure on Theismann that time, Al? And what a tremendous play by John Chiskowski. Theismann realizing three linemen were on top of him, just snapped the wrist, that's all, he threw it side. in for the touchdown. Scott Heppa will attempt the extra point. 66 yards and six plays on the drive for Notre Dame. The kick is up. The kick is good. So the clock is stopped on the field now with a score. Notre Dame. Smith will kick off for Notre Dame. The soccer style kick. It's coming down to the six yard line. To the 10, to the 15. Harris to the 20, to the 25, to the 27 yard line and brought down on the 27. So it will be first down and 10 to go for Southern California after that 21-yard return. They have the ball on their own 27. Let's pause briefly for station identification. Van Patrick along with Al Wester, Bill Etherton from the Coliseum in Los Angeles. Dickerson flanked out wide to the right. Chandler split to the left. They're in the pro set now with the two setbacks, and Jones fumbles the ball, and there's a scramble for it, but Southern California recovered it. Kadish was right in on top of them. But the fumble has been recovered by Southern California right on the 27-yard line, so it'll be second down and 10 to go. Jones, the uh, quarterback, on the fumble. Nice to have you with us wherever you are across the nation today, around the world, as the game is being short-waved around the world. Wide to the right now, Dickerson and Chandler, those two favorite receivers of Jimmy Jones, the quarterback of Southern California. And Jones is going back to throw. He sets up. He runs out of the pocket now and flips one out on the right flat, and it is incomplete. Intended over there for Bob Chandler, but incomplete. Notre Dame line putting a little more pressure. Big Greg Marks in there rushing him, trying to uh, get Jones to get rid of that ball. So that will bring it up now with third down and still 10 yards to go for Southern California. Jones is 9 out of 11 for 161 yards. And I've got to believe that this is the most important third down play. If you remember in the last three series that Southern California's had the ball, they've been able to move it, they've been able to get on the scoreboard, and right now they've got a third and 10, and if Notre Dame can hold them, they will have to kick. 21 to 14, the score, Southern California leading, six and a half minutes to play. Jones with a double wing formation. Jones now on the draw play, giving it off there to his fullback, and he cracks through to the 35-yard line and is hauled down by the Notre Dame secondary, the linebacker coming up, Jimmy Wright, and he gained about eight yards on the play, so that will make it now fourth down and two yards to go for Southern California. Aeli is in to do the kicking, and fading back here for Notre Dame, Ellis along with Crotty. Well, as you mentioned, they put the pressure on, they held them. That'll give Notre Dame that football again with six minutes and ten seconds to play in the second quarter here at the Coliseum in Los Angeles. It's getting very overcast. The kick is away. It's a low end-over-end -end kick, 
and a short one at that and bounds out around and out of bounds on the 35 yard line of Notre Dame. I think if uh, anybody now was to have the finger pointed at them, it would most assuredly have to be the, the kicking game of Southern California, Van. 30 yards on that punt. And right now, Aelia has uh, had a very poor afternoon. His uh, kicking average was about 35 and a half yards a kick, and he's been kicking certainly well under that. His average actually is 26 and a half yards a kick, and that has really hurt Southern California's game so far. Gatewood to the left, waiting for it now is Theismann. Theismann is going back to throw, stays in the pocket. Now he rolls out of it, looks, throws, and his pass, is, his arm is hit. It's intercepted by Southern California. Bruce Dyer intercepted the pass. Theismann's arm was hit as he delivered the ball. So it's intercepted now by Southern California's Bruce Dyer, and the Trojans take over now on the Notre Dame. 47 yard line, first down and 10 to go. Cornerback Bruce Dyer picked it off. And I got to say one thing there, tempers are getting a little heated. Mike Creaney and the big tackle John Bella down there were taking a few pot shots at one another. <laughs> Wide to the right now, Dickerson along with Chandler. Jones with the first down on the 47-yard line, and Jones on the give to Davis. Davis at the 45-yard line, running off left tackle. And he's gang-tackled as he reaches the 45-yard line of Notre Dame. Sapaniak coming up from the secondary and on the tackle. There's a flag on the play. And also in on the tackle is Neidert, the defensive right end of Notre Dame. Preliminary indication the penalty will be against Southern California. The clock shows five minutes and 44 seconds of playing time remaining. Notre Dame trailing by a score of 21 to 14. Illegal procedure against Southern California. Moves the ball back to the 48-yard line. I knew one thing, that adjustments would have to be made on playing these receivers of Southern California Van, and it appears now that uh, Notre Dame has made those adjustments. They're playing them much tighter now out there. Uh, when they get to them, they're right on top of them. So if they catch a pass now, they're going to have to do it uh, and tightly. Two flankers out to the right. Jones is going back. He throws one, and it is caught on the 33-yard line by Chandler. He got away there from the linebacker, Tim Kelly, and picked it off. And so the Trojans are moving again. They've got the ball down the 33-yard line. They gained 20 yards on that play. 33-yard line of Notre Dame. Southern California leading 21 to 14. Five and a half minutes of playing time remaining in the first half, and it's very dark, very overcast, and raining at the Coliseum. Chandler and his uh, shadow over there, Dickerson, go wide to the left again. Waiting for it is Jones. He's got the eye formation. Jones will give this time to his fullback going straight ahead. Davis, and he cracks through to the 27-yard line, or 24. They rule his knee hit the ground. Check it. Where they got it? 28, 29. About the 29, it man. 29. Notice the ups and downs in this ball game, Van. First, uh, uh, the, the Irish uh, go quickly for a touchdown, then Southern California takes control and can charge, and they drive for three touchdowns, and the Irish come back for a touchdown. Now Southern Cal has recovered the fumble, and they've got the momentum going, or they've re-intercepted at least. Here's the give now to Davis. Davis running off left tackle. He gets to the 25, down to the 24-yard line of Notre Dame. He's a yard shy of a first down. It'll be third the yard to go. Georgia Tech beat Georgia today, 17 to 7. Clock shows four minutes and 50 seconds of playing time remaining. First half of this ball game at the Coliseum. Southern California getting 21 points in the first quarter. Cunningham is uh, back in at fullback. Wide to the right now, we have Dickerson along with Chandler. The eye formation, the give is to Davis, right through the middle, breaks the tackle, goes on down to the 18-yard line, gets the first down for Southern California. Mike Crotty is the man who brought him down for Notre Dame. Down on the 18-yard line. And that's a total now of eight first downs for Southern California. Ball on the 18-yard line. Now coming back in is Rod McNeil, and going out is Clarence Davis. That's a change at the running back for Southern California. Ball on the 18-yard line. Davis in 15 carries has gained 67 yards today, so he's really been active. Wide to the right is Dickerson. Chandler is deployed to the left. Waiting for it is Jones in the eye formation. And Jones now on a give to McNeil. McNeil is hit, but not before he picks up to the 13-yard line, getting five on the play, and Jim Wright finally wrestled him to the turf. Kadish was also on the tackle for Notre Dame. And they'll move that ball down to the 13-yard line. 
change at fullback again. Evans is coming back in. Cunningham goes out. The officials are marking the ball on the 13-yard line where it'll be second down. The series originating on the 18. It'll be second down and a long five to go. Chandler flanked out to the right. Dickerson is set out to the left in the I formation. Waiting for it is Jones. He's going back to pass. He looks. He throws. And this one is caught on the five-yard line by Chandler as the defensive back, Stepaniak, went for the football and missed. He played it the way he should have played it, actually. He reached up, got a piece of that football. It's a little slippery. At the same time, reaching for the football was Bob Chandler. Chandler held on to the ball at the four-yard line, and it is first down. Goal to go for Southern California. They lead 21 to 14, and Van with three and a half minutes to play here. I wouldn't be surprised to see a couple more touchdowns on the scoreboard before halftime. Davis is back in there replacing McNeil. Two flankers to the right. The ball is on the four-yard line. First down. Jones with the ball on the keeper. He is hit by Walt Patulski at the five-yard line. Patulski circled around and brought him down. Jones on the keeper. Right on the five. So it'll be second down and goal to go for Southern California. Evans goes out. Cunningham back in at fullback for the Trojans. Clock shows three minutes exactly of playing time remaining in the first half. Scores Southern California 21, Notre Dame 14, but the Trojans are knocking on the door. They're on the five. Chandler and Dickerson are split out to the right again. And Jones on a give to Davis, and Davis hurdles into the line, gets down to the two. Upended on the two-yard line, where it'll be third down and goal to go now for Southern California with the ball on the two. In there was Jim Wright in on the tackle bring him down he got it actually inside the two yard line so on about the let's call it the one and a half change of fullback again Evans is back in there the rain's getting a little harder here now at the Coliseum in Los Angeles Dickerson and Chandler go wide to the left Notre Dame dropping off two defensive backs to cover him one on one Jones on the give to Davis Davis fighting his way to the goal line but he's stopped just outside the goal line piled up there by that defensive line of Notre Dame and the linebacker coming up was Eric Patton along with Greg Marks and they brought him down they're going to mark it on the one yard line so he got a half a yard on the play one minute and 55 seconds of playing time remaining the ball is down on the one yard line of Notre Dame it's fourth down and Southern California has called timeout all right Bill and now Ayala will try a field goal from the nine yard line which will be a 19 yard field goal Jones will hold the ball is spotted the kick is up the kick is good a 19-yard field goal by Ron Ayala, and that makes the score Southern California 24, Notre Dame 14. Parker and Dewan are deep. Ron Ayala, who has just kicked a 19-yard field goal, will kick off for Southern California. 10-point lead now for the Trojans, 24 to 14. And here's the boot by Ayala. High end over end kick going all the way to the end zone. A second by Dewan. Dewan's going to run it back. He's back to the 10. Goes wide. He's going to be dropped on the 14-yard line. He thought about downing that ball in the end zone and then changed his mind. And he is brought down on the 14-yard line. Tackle made by Al McMichael. So it'll be first down and 10 to go now for Notre Dame from their own 14. And this rain is going to have a bearing on this ball game because it's raining very hard. It's very slippery down on that turf right now. Julius out wide to the left. Dewan is split out to the right. They're in the double wing formation. Joe Theismann at quarterback and Theismann takes the ball. He's going back to throw. He throws the screen pass in the right flat. It's completed to Gatewood. He's at the 20. Comes on up to the 24-yard line. And Greg Slough, the middle backer, brings him down on the 24-yard line. He's just shy of a first down. The ball is on the 24. The series originated on the 14-yard line. So let's call it second down, about a half a yard to go with a minute and 20 seconds of playing time remaining in the first half. Notre Dame trailing by 10, 24 to 14. Gullius out wide to the left. Gatewood is put out to the right. It's a double wing formation, and Theismann back to throw again. Looks, throws, and the ball is hit again. One of those Southern California linemen, number 94, Nielsen reached up and tipped the ball. Man, I can't say enough about this fella, Greg Slough from San Diego. Big senior who weighs 230 pounds. Is six foot three now, six three, and is a linebacker on the right side. Slough leads this Southern California football team in tackles. 94 tackles as a linebacker. It's not one of the big defensive front four. 
true that uh, Willie Hall has 59, but 94 tackles for Slough. Here's the give now to Darrell Dewan, breaks into the open, goes to the 32, gets the first down for Notre Dame. Slough made the tackle again for Southern California. First down, a minute and five seconds. Six first down, seven first down. Seven. Clock is moving, a minute, five seconds of playing time remaining. Gatewood is flanked out to the left. Darrell Dewan is split out to the right. They're in the eye formation. Waiting for it is Joe Theismann. Theismann is going back to throw. A flag is down. He looks. He throws deep to Gatewood. It is incomplete. At the 40-yard line, Dyer and Ayala were both over to cover Gatewood. They were closer to the ball than Gatewood, but a flag was thrown. An illegal procedure against Notre Dame probably will be declined by Southern California. We'll wait and see and keep the downbacks moving around. The ball is back to the 32-yard line. It'll be second down and 10 to go. The clock shows exactly 50 seconds of playing time remaining with Southern California leading 24 to 14. The penalty has been declined. They want to keep the down box rolling around. The rain is getting harder. Wide to the left now is Gullius. Gatewood out to the right, waiting for it is Theismann from the double wing formation. And Theismann is going back now. He's rolling out to the left. He's looking, he's in trouble, he throws to Creedy, and it is incomplete at the 50-yard line. It's broken up by Slough again, Al. That's the fellow I've been talking about, Van. He plays all over the football field. He's the right side linebacker with, with 94 tackles to his credit. You just can't uh, believe, but that he goes where the action is. He seems to smell it out. Creeny uh, came over in his zone area there, and he just dropped back, covered him there, and was all over Big Mike uh, from Tosin, Maryland, be before he could get to the football. So it comes back to the Notre Dame 32-yard line. It is still, it is third down and still 10 yards to go. Here's Theismann going back to throw, rolling out to the right. He looks, he throws. It's completed at the 48-yard line. Completed to Darrell Dewan, who's tackled immediately on the 48. Timeout has been called to stop that clock with 35 seconds to go. Greg Slough made the tackle again for Southern California. Notre Dame called the timeout. So they marked the ball on the 47-yard line. It's still in Notre Dame territory. And it will be first down, a 15-yard gain on the play, and Theismann comes over to the sidelines to talk to Ara Parsegan. Notre Dame sends two flankers out wide to the left. Back goes Theismann to throw. It rushes on the blitz. He's going to be caught from behind back on the 35-yard line. Willie Hall was putting the pressure on him there along with John Bella. And they finally haul Joe down back on the 34-yard line in Notre Dame, stopping the clock again. The clock shows 21 seconds of playing time remaining. Julius is flanked out wide to the left. Gatewood is on the left side. Theismann is going back to throw. Staying in that pocket, he throws a sideline pass to Creed. He's got it at the 50. Slips and falls on the 44-yard or 46-yard line. And uh, Yalia is the man over there with him along with Greg Slough again, but he slipped as he tried to make a cut after grabbing the pass. And the ball is on the 46-yard line. Trojan 46-yard line, where it will be third down for Notre Dame. Gatewood is flanked out to the right. Ed Goulias is deployed to the left. They're in a double wing formation. Joe Theismann throws the swing pass to Gatewood, and he takes it at the 40 and steps out of bounds on the 39-yard line. Greg Slough chased him out of bounds. They got a first down on the play, and the clock still shows eight seconds of playing time remaining in the first half. So now what Theismann would like to do is hit that bomb now and get on that board before the end of the half as he trails by 10. Ball on the 39-yard line of Southern California. Goulias to the left. Gatewood is split to the right. They are in the slot or double wing formation. Joe Theismann back to throw. He throws another sideline pass to Gatewood. He's moving him down all right, but Gatewood goes out of bounds on the 32. The pass is working. Of course, Southern California knows that clock is moving. It shows only five seconds of playing time remaining now with the ball on the 32. And they're getting a kicker in here. Smith is coming in to try a field goal now. That's going to be a long kick for him, Van. That... Uh the line of scrimmage is a 32-yard line, and it appears now that they will set up uh, and kick from the 39. That'll be a 49-yard field goal attempt, and it will be a new one for the record books, I believe, of Notre Dame. Ball is spotted. The kick by Smith is short and spinning away and no good. And the clock runs out. That's the end of the first half with a score. Southern California, 24. Notre Dame, 14. 
game lines up. They will kick off Southern California leading in the football game 24 to 14. Well received. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, as the rain comes merrily down here at the Coliseum in Los Angeles with the play by play action, the football voice of Notre Dame, Van Patrick. Thank you, Al Western. Here's the boot now by Smith, who slipped down, which will give you an indication of what's going to happen on that turf. Back to 10 to the 15. To the 26 goes McNeil, and McNeil is dropped on the 27-yard line. It'll be first down and 10 to go now for Southern California. As Smith kicked that ball, his feet went right out from under him, and it's really slippery out on that turf now, and I want to tell you, when John McKay and the Southern California Trojans are sitting there with a 10-point lead on a gridiron like this, they are in pretty good position. Wide to the right now is uh, Dickerson and Chandler. Jimmy Jones, the quarterback, and Jones just throws a quick pass over the right flat. It's completed on the 30-yard line. Completed out there to Chandler, and Chandler is tackled by Tim Kelly on the 33-yard line, again on the play of six. Second down and four to go. Patulski was also in on the tackle. The ball is on the 33-yard line of Southern California. Change of pullback. Charlie Evans coming in, replacing Cunningham, or Davis it is, is going out. Davis had a very fine first half, 17 carries, 72 yards. Chandler's caught six passes today for 62. Cunningham caught, uh, carried the ball one time in the first half. Jones twice, McNeil once, and Evans twice. And here is Jones on a give to the football, uh, to the fullback on the 35. Evans is hit, stacked up there by the middle of the Notre Dame line. Kadish in on the tackle, so mark the ball on the 35. So it will be a third down coming up. The series of downs originated on the 27. The ball is just over the 35. Notre Dame trailing Southern California 24 to 14, and it's raining hard here at the Coliseum. It looked for a while at the beginning of the game that we might get through the afternoon without the rain, but we've got it. Chandler and Dickerson are split out again. Dickerson to the left. They're in a double wing formation. Here's Jones going back to throw. Throws a swing pass out to... Dickerson and Dickerson is knocked out of bounds on the 41 yard line chased out of bounds by Clarence Ellis on the 41 he picked up a first down for Southern California and of course what the Trojans would like to do in the second half is play as much ball control as they possibly can 13 first downs on that uh, pass play Southern California now with a first down on their own 41 out wide to the right is Chandler Dickerson is split out to the left in the eye formation Waiting for it is Jimmy Jones, the quarterback again. And Jones on a give to Davis. Davis is trapped for a loss back on the 38-yard line. Nice wire from the linebacker Maxi group of over 100. They're here from South Bend, while the many group that couldn't make the trip are listening to us over in Benton Harbor, Michigan, and watching the ball game. So on the 38-yard line, they have spotted the ball. Loss on the play of three yards, so it will be second down and 13 to go. Second and 13, wide to the right now is Dickerson. Also Chandler in the slot to the right, waiting for it is quarterback Jimmy Jones, and Jones on a pitch back to McNeil. McNeil trying to turn the corner, is forced out of bounds. But he crosses the 47-yard line before he was bumped out of bounds. Knocking him out over there was uh, Kadish, the right tackle, and also Knighter, the defensive right end of Notre Dame. He stepped out on the 46-yard line. So it'll be third down coming up. The series originating on the 41. The ball is on the 46, so that makes third and six coming up. Third and six. Southern California back in the huddle again. McNeil is out. Harris has replaced him in the backfield. Out wide to the right is uh, Dickerson. On the left side is Chandler. Double wing formation, and Jones takes two steps back, looks, fires, throws, and completes. On the 49-yard line intended for Sam Dickerson, which brings up a fourth down. A Yale is in to do the kicking. The way of first down, Southern California had 12 in the first half. Notre Dame had 11. 80 yards rushing for Southern California, only 43 for Notre Dame. The Irish outpassed them 219 to 189, but Southern California outscored them 24 to 14. A Yale is back in kick formation. He's standing back just... Uh, Outside the 30-yard line, gets the perfect pass in center and booms it. Down the field, it rolls around to the 20-yard line, to the 19. Finally rolls to a stop on the 18-yard line. A good kick on the part of Aelia. And they had a little trouble in the punt department in the first half. 36 yards on the kick. Heisman on the give to Dewan. Dewan is hit, fumbles the ball. The North Southern California.
California recovers the football. It was recovered by Kent Carter, the rover back. Jawan was belted at the 17 and dropped the ball, and Southern California came up with it. That's their second fumble recovery, and I want to tell you that may make a big difference in this ball game right there. That deep fan had most assuredly uh, has a possibility of it because it's down at the 17-yard line. The Irish simply have to dig in now. And Southern California seems to be getting inspirational little moments like this. It fires them up. Chandler and Dickinson are wide to the right. Waiting for it is Jimmy Jones with the first down on the 17-yard line of Notre Dame. And Jones on a give to Davis. Davis is caught from behind at the 16-yard line and hauled down. Wright was in there to make the tackle for Notre Dame. Ball is marked on the 17, so there was no gain on the play. Southern California breaking out of the huddle. They've got second down and 10 to go now from the 17-yard line of Notre Dame. Southern California with 86 yards rushing and 27 carries. I formation, two flankers, Chandler to the right. And here's Jones back to throw. He fires, caught at the five-yard line by Dickerson. And Dickerson is forced out of bounds on the four. It's a first down for Southern California. And Ellis is the man who forced him out of bounds on the four-yard line. Ellis playing him too deep on the play. Ellis gave it. <coughs> Gave him about three steps, man. And this is first and goal to go on the four. We mentioned that in the first half. They're playing these receivers a little on the deep side. And Dickerson and Chandler both go out to the left in the I formation. And waiting for it is Jimmy Jones again. Now he puts him in a pro set. And the give is to his fullback, Evans, who tries right guard, gets down to about the three. He's all down there by Kadish. Have a nice wire here from London, England, from the Notre Dame London Law students who are listening today on American Forces Radio in England. Eleven minutes of playing time remaining. Coming in now defensively for Notre Dame is Swinson. And limping out of there is Kadish. Kadish was shaken up on the play. He's coming out. Swinson has replaced him. Two flankers to the right. Second down and goal to go with the ball on the three-yard line and the give is to the fullback again. A fumble. Let's see who got it. They fumbled the ball into the end zone. We'll have to wait and see who got it. Touchdown. It's recovered by Southern California in the end zone. We'll not try to get the man who got it. There's a big pile up right there. The officials have already indicated Southern California's ball in the end zone, which would be a touchdown, but they still have not unpiled them. We have the glasses on them. It looks like number 77, Adams. Adams is the man who covered it for Southern California. It's a touchdown for Southern California. That's a real break. They fumbled into the end zone, and Adams, the big right tackle, recovered it. 30 to 14 now, Van, as they line up for the point after. Here's the kick by Ayala. It's good. The score now is Southern California, 30, and Notre Dame, 14, 31 to 14. We'll be back with the Southern California kickoff in just a moment. 17 yards in four plays. The ball was fumbled into the end zone by the fullback. Evans recovered by Adams for a touchdown for Southern California. It's 31 to 14 now with the Trojans leading. Ayala will kick off. Minix and Parker are the deep men for Notre Dame. And the kick. High end over end kick. Coming down to Minix at the 15. He fumbles the ball. And Notre Dame covers the ball on the 17 or 18 yard line. Minix fumbled the wet football. But it was covered by Notre Dame. And so the Irish will take over. On the 18 yard line in Notre Dame territory. First down and 10 to go for Notre Dame. And now the pressure will be on young Joe Theismann. 31 to 14 the score. Notre Dame out of the huddle. They've had the turnovers today, and it's really hurt them. Goulias is flanked out to the left. Gatewood is split out to the right. Fumble again. Theismann picks it up. Rolls out to the left and is thrown down back on the five-yard line. Theismann is trapped back there by Willie Hall, the defensive right end. And they're going to mark the ball back on the seven-yard line. Eleven yards lost on the play. Second down and 21 to go. Southern California leading 31 to 14 with seven minutes to play. Ten minutes, five seconds it is to play. 
The clock is not operating properly. Here's a double wing. Waiting for it now, Seisman. He's going back to throw. He's in the end zone. Fumbles the ball. It's covered by Southern California for touchdown. Number 75, John Bella recovered the ball in the end zone. Southern California and a touchdown for the Trojans. They lead 37 to 14. Well, we were talking about the weather would make a difference when you're trying to play catch-up football, and it's doing exactly that. This is almost unbelievable, Van. In a matter of 32 seconds, Southern California's come up with a pair of touchdowns, and here is the try after touchdown. Kick is up. Kick is good. We'll score now. Southern California, 38. Notre Dame, 14. We'll be back with the Southern California kickoff in just a moment. Van Patrick along with Al Wester, Bill Etherton, and here's the kick by Ayala. Minnick is deep with Parker. High end over end kick. Winning for it is Parker to 15. Goes to the 20. Comes out wide now. Breaks the tackle to the 25, and he is whacked up at the 39-yard line. Making the tackle in there for Southern California. It was Cunningham who made the tackle. The ball is on the 28-yard line of Notre Dame. First down and 10 to go for Notre Dame. 14-yard return. Creedy is flanked out to the left in the I formation. Gatewood is out to the right. Here's the draw play to Julius, and Julius runs straight ahead, coming all the way up to the 39-yard line, and Papadakis, the left backer, brings him down for Southern California. On the draw play as they moved it, up to the 38 and a half. They're going to mark it to 38, where his knee hit the ground. It's going to be mighty close for a first down. It is a first down. Nine minutes, 40 seconds to play in the third quarter. Southern California with a 24-point lead. And in a driving rain and a turf that's really slippery, 12 first downs for Notre Dame. They flood the zone to the right in a double wing. Waiting for it now is the quarterback, Joe Seisman. Seisman back to throw. He throws. This one is incomplete as his receiver was open and fell down. He had him wide open, but he fell down. That was Creedy, the tight end on the 40-yard line. You can't get him any more open. That's right, Van, and uh, along with him, Larry Parker. Uh, over on the sidelines there was wide open, too. Let's go down and uh, get the viewpoint of our man on the sidelines, Bill Etherton. Bill? Well, it's wet, but here's a report on Mike Kadish, the fine defensive tackle of Notre Dame, the 6'5", 250-pound senior from Springfield, Ohio. His college football career in college is at an end. He has a severe knee injury. Up to you. Heisman throws out in the right flat out there, and it is completed. To the 40, the 45, is Parker to the 50, and he's finally dropped on the 49-yard line. That was the report on Creedy. Bruce Dyer made the tackle. Creedy suffered a severe injured knee. So the ball is on the 49-yard line of Southern California. It's a first down for Notre Dame. Clock shows now nine minutes and about 18 seconds of playing time remaining. Goulias and Gatewood are to the left. In the eye formation and Joe Theismann trying to rally his ball club, but he's trailing 38 to 14. Here's Theismann now on the draw play to Parker, and Parker is hit as he reaches the 46-yard line and shot back to the 47. In there making the tackle was Skiles, number 71 of Southern California. They'll mark the ball on the 47-yard line of Southern California. It belongs to Notre Dame. Now, actually, they'll put it on the 46, so it'll be a gain on the play of three. Second down and seven yards to go for Notre Dame. Out of the huddle they come with Creeney on the right side. Also over on the right side is Parker and Goulias and Gatewood are to the left. Jaskowski, the fullback. We haven't seen Bill Bars in there today. Feisman throws over the middle. It's caught at the 30. On down to the 25. Down to the 15 goes Parker. The 10, the 5. Touchdown, Notre Dame. As Larry Parker grabs the ball and sprinted into the end zone for Notre Dame until the Fighting Irish are trying to come back. The play. Picking up the touchdown, covered 46 yards, and Notre Dame with 72 yards in five plays, and are on the board now at 38 to 20. 
I think the most fabulous part about the run by Parker after a great catch there was hurdling John Papadakis. Papadakis was down and Parker hurdled him. Temple will attempt the extra point. The ball is spotted, the kick is up, and the kick is good. So the score now is Southern California, 38, Notre Dame, 21. We'll be back with the Notre Dame kickoff in just a moment. 17 point difference in this ball game right now with Southern California leading 38 to 21. Smith will kick off the soccer style kicker. Deep men are McNeil and Cunningham. The kick is way short. McNeil has it at 25, 30. McNeil fights his way forward to about the 38 yard line. There he is brought down. On the 38 yard line, in on the tackle was uh, Ratterman, 22 yard return. So make it first down and 10 to go now for Southern California from their own 38 yard line. Eight minutes and 17 seconds of playing time remaining in the third quarter at the Coliseum in a driving rain. Wide to the right now goes number 18, Dickerson. But out to the left, Chandler. Two setbacks, pro set. Now they go back into an eye formation as Jimmy Jones calls the signals. Jones on a give to his running back, Davis. Davis off right tackle. He's to the 44-yard line before he's brought down by Crotty and number 45 in there, Patton, the linebacker of Notre Dame. Forty-four-yard line. Tut Shore, uh, listening in back in New York, wanted to say hello to his great friend Pat O'Brien, who's up in the booth with us. Davis, 75 yards in 20 plays, and he has the ball again. This time he's racked at the 44-yard line. Seven minutes and 40 seconds. I don't know, maybe they're using a different type of rosin or something, Al, to hold on to that football, but they're holding on to it. Yes, they are, Van. They're doing a good job there. Ralph Stefaniak is the man who came up and stuck the runner on that last play. And I've got to say this about Stefaniak from uh, Alpena, Michigan. He had 49 tackles, six interceptions going into this ball game. And a young junior from Michigan has certainly played a great year of football. I look forward to seeing he and Clarence Ellis back next year. Snydert went out. John McHale has replaced him in the Notre Dame defense. Jones throws over the middle, completed to his tight end, to the 42-yard line. And Crotty made the tackle on number 86, Mullins. Mullins, the tight end, made the grab right over the middle. That was a great call on the part of the quarterback, Jimmy Jones. Not only a great call, but I'm sure they spotted it from up on the top side here. And when the coach is sitting up here in the booth, and we've heard him beat on the wall many times next to us at Notre Dame, when they spot a weakness there, they call it down and they use the play immediately. Chandler to the right, Dickerson out to the left, Jones on a give now to Davis. Davis trying to sweep the left side, gets to the 39-yard line and is pulled down. He gained two or three yards. He was hauled down on the 39-yard line, making the tackle was Toman, the linebacker on the outside for Notre Dame. Second down coming up, seven yards to go. Southern California got 21 points in the first quarter, three in the second, they have 14 in the third with 6.20 to go. Notre Dame has seven in each quarter so far. 38 to 21 the score, Notre Dame trailing by 17 points. Now the two receivers, Dickerson and Chandler, go to the left. It's the I formation, quarterback Jimmy Jones, and them stacked behind him, calling the signals. Notre Dame with a five-man defensive line, and Jones now on a give off to Davis again, and Davis is hit as he reaches the 38-yard line, and Greg Marks in there to make the tackle. Marks made the tackle for Notre Dame. They're going to mark the ball on about the 37-yard line. It'll be third down coming up, and five yards to go. Six minutes of playing time remaining in the third quarter. Southern California leading 38 to 21. They're changing those fullbacks again. Cunningham goes out. Charlie Evans comes in. Ball is midway between the sideline stripes on the Notre Dame 37-yard line. In the way of rushing, Southern California has 112 yards. Notre Dame has only 36. High formation, two flankers to the left. Back goes Jones to pass. He looks, he throws deep, and this one is incomplete. Intended for Dickerson. Clarence Ellis went up in the air with him, but the pass was too tall for both. That stops the clock. Fourth down, five yards to go for Southern California. Ayala comes in to do the kicking now for Southern California. And Nidert, who limped off a moment ago, is going back in there and checked that. Is that Eaton? That is Eaton. Uh, Nidert that. is still out. We'll check on his injury in a moment. Ayala goes back. Ellis are deep along with Crotty. Ayala waiting, gets his kick away, kicks for the sideline. 
The ball goes to the five-yard line and rolls dead right there. He did exactly what he wanted to do, put the pressure on Notre Dame, and Notre Dame will have to start play with the ball just outside the five-yard line. Wouldn't you know it, Ayala has been kicking for about a, in the first half, about a 27-yard average on his punt. If there was one bad break that he had had for the day, uh, Southern California, it had been the kicking. Now here, this kick is 33 yards. It rolls dead on the Irish six-yard line. Notre Dame is 94 yards away from Peter. Gatewood to the left. In a double wing formation, Feisman back to the end zone, throws to Gatewood. He's got it on the 10-yard line, gets to the 11, and goes out of bounds. Clock shows five minutes, 23 seconds of playing time remaining in the third quarter. Notre Dame 17 points behind. Ball on the 11-yard line. It'll be second down coming up, second down and five yards to go. Five yards gained on the play. Wide to the right goes Gatewood. Gullius is split out to the left. High formation with Theisman waiting for it. Theisman rolling out to right. He dumped one out there to Gatewood incomplete. Broken up over there by number 21, Bruce Dyer, who is a Michigan boy from Dearborn Heights. Six-footer, 178-pound junior, who's only 19 years old. It will be third down and five yards to go now for Notre Dame from their own 11-yard line. The rain continues unabated. It has not let up. Now Julius to the left. Gatewood is flanked out to the right as Notre Dame comes out of it in the eye formation. Joe Theismann playing his last regular season game. Rolling to the right. Looking for a receiver. Throws one. Incomplete. Gatewood and Chukowski was both over there. Bruce Dyer was over to cover. One thing, uh, Bill uh, Etherton, we have not seen uh, Bill Bars in this ball game. What about him and also what about Niter? Okay, the only major casualty remains Mike Kadish, who has a very severe knee injury. He'll miss the rest of the game. Neidert merely suffered a uh, pretty good whack in the left knee, but he's all right. Nothing is wrong with Bill Bars. He just is not being used today. Back up to you. Here's Yoder punting from the end zone. He booms it out of there deep. Hudson is chasing the ball. A great kick. Picked it up on the 36. Comes back to about the 38, and he's hit on the 38-yard line. Falls forward. Julius hit him. On the 39, a 53-yard kick under pressure by Jim Yoder, who has done a great job for Notre Dame in the kicking department this year. So it'll be first down and 10 to go now for the Trojans from their own 39-yard line. If anything, that rain's getting a little harder, Al. It's coming out a little heavier, Van, and that, that field is completely chewed up out there. Out wide to the right now is Chandler. Dickerson is split to the left. It's the I formation. Jones barking out the signals. And Jones now is giving off on the draw play to Davis, and Davis gets to the 40, and that's it. Brought down on the 40-yard line, again on the play of about a yard. In there making the stop for Notre Dame was Greg Marks, the defensive tackle, so Mark that ball on the 40. We've got Swenson in there at the tackle. As Kadish went out with a knee injury. Patuski's playing that left end. Now we're ready to go again. 82 yards and 24 carries by Davis today. Two flankers to the right. The pitch is to Davis. Trying to turn the corner on the power sweep. He gets to about the 42-yard line, and that's it. Brought down there, Greg Marks again and on the tackle. Davis was the ball carrier. He's been a workhorse today for the Southern California Trojans. Well, of course, the footing is extremely bad. I mentioned this a moment ago, and with that heavy rain still coming down now, I think that the uh, Southern California's quarterback Jimmy Jones would not like to put that ball in the air. He's certainly not going to down there around the 42-yard line. He'd like to get the running game going again. He's tried to turn the corners. He hasn't been able to get the footing there. His runners haven't been able to do it. Now he's sending a widespread formation with the both receivers wide to the right, Ben. Jones is going back to throw. He sets up. He gets some time. He's still got time. He throws incomplete. Intended for Cunningham out on the right flat, and that brings up the fourth down. 64,694, the paid attendance today at the Coliseum in Los Angeles. Three minutes and 40 seconds of playing time remaining in the third quarter. Nice to have the chairman of the board of the Mutual Broadcasting System, Jack Frame, here in our booth. I think he just came in to get out of the rain, Al. <laughs> Back in kick formation, Ayala. 
Gets the pass from center and almost blocked. Fair catch is called for on the 30-yard line by Crotty. So it'll be first down and 10 to go now for Notre Dame. They have the ball on the 30, a 28-yard kick. Double wing formation, winning for it is Joe Theismann. Theismann back to throw, throws one incomplete. And the pressure was on. He had the hurriest throw. Coming in there was Charlie Weaver, the defensive left end of Southern California. He came in the back door. Nobody even brush blocked him. And Theismann had to get rid of the ball in a hurry. So it'll be second down and 10 to go. <laughs> Southern California with a 38 to 21 lead, 17 points. Out of the huddle they come with Gatewood to the right, Gullius to split out to the left. They come out in the pro set this time with the two setbacks. Winning for it is Joe Theismann, and Theismann going back to throw, sets up, dumps it over the middle to the tight end of the 40. Creeney goes to the 45, is dropped on the 45-yard line by Papadakis, the linebacker of Southern California. Creeney, the big tight end. It'll be a first down for Notre Dame. Up on the uh, 43, they rule his knee hit the ground, but it's still a first down. 12 yards gained on the play by Notre Dame. But what the Irish needs now is to get on the board in a hurry as they trail by 17 points. Double wing formation. Joe Theismann going back to throw again. That right end is coming in again. Theismann looks, throws, and is caught. Caught at the 45-yard line and out of bounds, but a flag is down. Hudson is the man who knocked Creedy out of bounds, but the preliminary indication is the penalty will be against Notre Dame. He headed down to the 45-yard line, which would have been another first down for Notre Dame. But the preliminary indication is the penalty will be walked off against Notre Dame. 11 yards picked up, which would have been a first down. Here's the signal. Backfield in motion against Notre Dame. Moves the ball back to the 38-yard line. The series originated on the 43. Third penalty, a total of 22 yards against Notre Dame. But it's been the fumbles that has hurt Notre Dame today. Cost them two touchdowns in succession here in this third quarter. And that's almost the difference in the ball game right now. Here's the eye formation with two flankers again. Waiting for it is Joe Theismann. Theismann on the draw play. Gives it off. And uh, Parker is hit right at the 40-yard line. Parker from Cincinnati, Ohio, hit right at the 40-yard line. In on the tackle there was Bella again, and he has played a tremendous defensive ball game. And if I had to single out two men today, or three men, it would be John Bella, the left tackle, and Greg Slough, the middle backer, and Bruce Dyer, the left cornerback, who've all been tremendous in that Southern California defense against Notre Dame. Theismann back to throw, dumps it over the middle. It's completed to Tchaikovsky, the fullback at the 50. And he moves to the 48-yard line, is brought down by Papadakis. On the 48-yard line, but he's shy of a first down. They keep exchanging the footballs out there, trying to keep a dry one in here. Ayala is going to the sidelines. He's being replaced in the secondary for Southern California. It's third down and just about a yard, a little better than a yard to go for Notre Dame. The Irish would like to pick up that first down. They have two minutes, ten seconds to go in the third quarter. In the eye formation now with two flankers. Joe Theismann calling the signal. Theismann gives it off to his running back again. Jaskowski who gets the first down on the 43-yard line. First and ten to go. I'll mark the ball on the 43-yard line, or 44. That's the 15th first down today for Notre Dame. He came in an opportune time for him. They needed it with the clock moving. Two minutes to go in the third quarter. Goulias to the right. Winning for now is Joe Theismann. Gatewood is out to the right. Theismann back to throw. He looks, throws to Gatewood. Gatewood had it in his hands on the 15-yard line and couldn't hold it. That ball was a little bit too slippery for Tom Gatewood. Theismann hit him beautifully. And he had the defensive back beat, but he just couldn't hang on. A little too slippery. So the ball goes back again to the 43 and a half yard line. Theismann has attempted 35 passes, completed 20 for 307 yards. Gatewood had beaten his man all right. Tyrone Hudson, the senior from Los Angeles, was the deep man there running with Gatewood, and Gatewood had him beaten by two steps, Van. Second down and 10 to go. Theismann back to throw again. Theismann looks, throws, and he runs out of it now. 
He didn't throw it. He's at the 50, the 45. He's down to the 40. Five when it's finally knocked out of bounds somewhere around the neighborhood of the 37. He cocked his arm, but he didn't let it go. Willie Hall finally chased him out. His receivers were covered. He decided at the last instant to hold on to it, and he raced around the right side, was knocked out of bounds. John Vella was the man who was pressuring him, was coming up the middle. The big tackle from Van Nuys was right on top of him there. I thought, frankly, that Vella had batted the football down because Theismann cocked his arm, went through the motions, and held onto the football and rolled out around the far sidelines. Ball on the 37-yard line. It's third down, about two yards to go for Notre Dame. Another big third down as Notre Dame trails by 17 points. Joe Feisman calling the signal. Feisman gives it off to Jaskowski, and he is stopped at the 36-yard line. He did not make the first down. He's about a yard, yard and a half short. When they unpile him, they're going to call it two yards, shy of the first down. Nielsen and Bella, the two tackles in there for Southern California. It's fourth down, and the only thing the Irish can do is go for it with fourth and two. Fourth down and two yards to go. Notre Dame out of the huddle. Gatewood to the right. Julius is put out to the left. Waiting for it is Feisman. Feisman back to throw. He looks. He's in a little trouble out there. He races around the left side. He's going to run with the ball. 35. Feisman is down to the 30. He's pulled down, but not before he got a first down for Notre Dame. Little Joe Feisman still staying in there and battling. And Carter is the man who pulled him down on the 30. Well, we just saw a good example of why Theismann has been able to run for 398 yards so far this year. Better than three and a half yards a carry van. He scored two touchdowns, as a matter of fact, on the ground. When he's in any kind of trouble, uh, the little guy just pulls that football in, tucks it in on his arm, and goes. All right, ready to go now. And Gatewood is out to the right. They're in a pro set with two flankers, waiting for it is Theismann. He's back to throw, he throws, and the ball is batted away again. Big defensive lineman in there, number 84, Weaver and Bella, putting the pressure on Joe Theismann. Ball is dead at the 30 again. It'll be second down and 10 yards to go for Notre Dame. They're trailing 39 seconds to play in the third quarter, 38 to 21. And those two touchdowns in this third quarter on the fumbles are looming bigger and bigger in this ballgame. Yes, there were two rather freakish uh, touchdowns. Pete Adams, an offensive tackle, and John Bella, the de defensive tackle, both scoring touchdowns. I guess that's the first time two tackles on the Southern Cal team ever scored in one game. Double wing formation, Joe Theismann on a give to Chiskowski through the middle. He gets down to about the 27-yard line, and he's brought down there. Tackle was made by Skiles and also Slough as they bring him down. As Slough continues to be in almost every play for the Southern California defensive unit today. Ball is marked on the 26 and a half yard line where it'll be third down and about six yards to go. Third and six. Greeny the tight end on the right side, Gatewood on the left side. Parker split out to the right. Double wing formation, Feisman rolling out to the right. Now he looks. He throws complete to Goulias. Down on the 11-yard line, he gets to the 10 and out of bounds. As Ed Goulias made the reception there for Notre Dame on the 10. So it'll be first down and goal to go for Notre Dame down on the 10-yard line of Southern California. John Papadakis was the man who had the job of covering Goulias on that pass pattern. And, of course, you uh, run a fast little uh, running back like Goulias out there on uh, a linebacker the size of Papadakis, 230. And he's not going to be able to cover as tight as those cornerbacks or the uh, rover back would cover. Julius to the left, Gatewood to the right, first and goal to go on the 10. The give is to Chiskowski. He fights his way down to the five-yard line, and there he's tacked up. And on the tackle was Weaver, along with Slough again, and they bring him down on the five-yard line. It'll be second down and goal to go from the five. And that's the end of the third quarter with a score. Southern California 38, Notre Dame 21. Now Notre Dame set in the huddle and breaks out of it. Second down and goal to go from the five. Wide to the right now is Tom Gatewood. Julius is put out to the left. Waiting for it is Theismann and two Chukowski. And Chuskowski is down to about the three and a half yard line. And Charlie Weaver is in there again to make the tackle for Southern California. Along with uh, Nielsen, the right tackle. So you'd have to say that Nielsen's rating is pretty good today, wouldn't you? I would have to say so, yes. The ball is on the three and a half yard line. It's third down and goal to go for Notre Dame. Gatewood is to the right. 
And here's Theisman now on the keeper. Theisman is down to about the one and the shove back. Shoved all the way back to the five. They're going to allow it down to the one yard line. It'll be fourth down and goal to go. And Skiles is the man who hit him. Along with Ron Ayala, who's back in there as the safety man for Southern California. The ball is on the one yard line. Van Patrick along with Al Western, Bill Etherton, Paul Pentecost, and Bob Freshley. And the ball is down on the one yard line. One yard line. It's fourth down and goal to go. It's the wishbone formation. Theisman on the keeper cuts into the end zone. Touchdown, Notre Dame. Joe Theisman took it over. Notre Dame is on the board again. It is now 38 to 27. They move 69 yards in 16 plays. Scott Hempel is in to attempt the extra point. Joe Theisman will hold, and Theisman took it over himself from the one. Ran off left guard, got a good block over there. Squirmed into the end zone. The ball is spotted, the kick is up, and the kick is good. So the score now is Southern California 38, Notre Dame 28. We'll be back with a Notre Dame kickoff in just a moment. On the kickoff, Southern California's Harris runs it back to the 24. He fumbled, recovered his own fumble. Notre Dame almost got a break there. With the ball on the 24-yard line, it's first down and 10 to go for Southern California. Trojans are leading now by 10 points, 38 to 28. Now let's see whether Jones will put it in the air. He'll probably try to stay right on the ground with 13.50 to go. Notre Dame wanting to get their hands back on that football again. And the give off is to Davis. He's at the 30. Davis is finally out of bounds on the 35 or 36-yard line. Davis knocked out of bounds on that power sweep again. Knightard and Marks and Swenson all chasing him out of bounds. And they're going to put the ball on the 36-yard line where it'll be first down and 10 to go. First and 10 to go for Southern California. The clock now, 13 minutes and 44 seconds of playing time remaining at 16 first downs for the Trojans. Out wide to the right is uh, Dickerson. Chandler split to the left. Jones in the I formation calling the signals. And he's rolling out the right, gives the ball off to Davis again, and Davis is tackled, shoved all the way back to the 32-yard line. Kelly leading the charge. Let's pause briefly for station identification. This is the Mutual Broadcasting System. You're listening to Notre Dame football on WEEP-FM Pittsburgh. It's 7 o'clock. Second and nine to go now for Southern California with the ball on the 37-yard line. Davis in 27 carries today has gained 97 yards. I formation, two flankers to the left. Waiting for it now is the quarterback, Jimmy Jones. He pitches it back to Davis at power sweep again. This time he's in trouble. And he's brought down back on the 33-yard line. Greg Marks in there to make the tackle. And we move Bill Etherton away from the sidelines out of the rain up into our broadcast booth. A little wet down there? May I say thank you because I thought I was going to get lost in the red mud play of the running track before I could get across it, Van. <laughs> I tell you, from up here, it looks just as bad as it did down there because the field is really a quagmire. Third down and 13 yards to go for Southern California. A big third down play right now for the Notre Dame defense. Dickerson and Chandler are both over on the left side, flank wide. The official talking there with uh, Jimmy Jones. The center is Sterling, Ryan and Graff are the guards, Adams and Montgomery are the tackles for Southern California. The eye formation, Jones takes the ball, he goes back to throw, he looks, he throws one deep and it is incomplete on the 48-yard line intended for Chandler and Ellis tried to intercept the ball his feet went right out from under him Van as you know we're looking down there Clarence Ellis has one of the few clean unstained jerseys on the field this fella at quarterback Jimmy Jones of Southern Cal has put on a tremendous show now we of course had him from the field vantage point up until now and he just has done a remarkable job He's tried 22 times, made 15, and he has passed for 226 yards, which is fantastic. Ellis is back along with Mike Crowley, man. Here's the boot now by Ayala, and the fair catch is called for by Ellis on the 37-yard line. He slips down as he gets the football. 30 yards on the kick by Ayala. So it'll be first down and 10 to go now. Listen to this Notre Dame crowd now. They start the yell. Notre Dame trailing by a score of 38 to 28 with 12 minutes and 7 seconds of playing time remaining. 
It was just six years ago to this very day that Notre Dame came out here unbeaten and Southern California upset them. And they're right back here in the same situation again. Ten points behind with 12.07 to go. Yeah, there's a bitterly dejected young man, Mike Kadish, a great defensive tackle for Notre Dame, whose college career has ended with a knee injury. And he's sitting down there, and he's the most unhappy guy I've ever seen. Double wing formation, and here's Theismann going back to throw. He fires. It's complete, incomplete to Goulias. He was all by himself at the 48-yard line, and he could not hold on to that wet football. That stops the clock with 12.02 to go. So the ball goes back to the 37-yard line. It'll be put in play again. Second down and 10 yards to go for Notre Dame. Closing out the regular season, they still have the date with Texas or Arkansas in the Cotton Bowl. But an inspired Southern California team coached by John McKay. Last two years, these teams have tied. Parker's flanked to the right. Gatewood is split to the left. Theismann is going back to throw again. Theismann is in trouble. He's brought down. Back on the 25-yard line by Willie Hall, the defensive right end. He's all the way from Connecticut, from New Britain, Connecticut. Willie Hall, 6'3", 220, a junior. And so they will mark that ball back on the 27, a 10-yard loss on the play. It will be third down and 20 yards to go for Notre Dame. And now Minix is coming into the backfield for the Irish. Bob Minix coming in with the ball now spotted on the 27-yard line of Notre Dame. Wide to the right is Tom Gatewood. Waiting for it now is the quarterback Joe Theismann. Theismann is going back to throw. He rolls out of it, rolls around the left side, looks, throws, and it is caught. Caught out there by Parker. And Parker moves it to the 42-yard line. Larry Parker, who caught a touchdown pass a moment ago. Hudson made the tackle, the safety man, but he is shy of a first down. The end of that chain's all the way up on the 48-yard line. Theismann goes over to the sidelines. It is fourth down and five yards to go. And Theismann comes out of there, and Jim Yoder goes in for Notre Dame to do the kicking. Hudson is dropping back in the safety spot now for Southern California. Ten minutes, 43 seconds of playing time remaining in this ball game. Yoder gets a perfect pass from Steve Butchers, gets his kick away, a low one, rolling around on the 25. It's taken there by Hudson to the 30. He's to the 35, to the 40, and is finally knocked out of bounds on the 42-yard line by Crotty, and so it'll be first and 10 for Southern California. That was a kick of 32 yards and a brilliant 17-yard return. Well, Van, with 10 minutes and 27 seconds remaining on the clock here in the fourth period, the final period here at Southern California, the Trojans can eat up with a couple of first downs, approximately four and a half to five minutes, and that would give Notre Dame a, a real tough way to come back from with only five left in the game. But Southern California, lots of time left in the fourth period. They have the football. Nickerson and Chandler are flanked. Waiting for it now is Jones. He gives it to his fullback. Runs straight ahead. It's Evans off left guard. Moves to the 49-yard line with it. Moving from the 42 to the 49, getting seven yards on the play. It'll be second down and three yards to go for Southern California. But Charlie Evans got some fine blocking that time on the left side from Marv Montgomery and Alan Graff, and he had a gaping breach in the Notre Dame right side and got pretty good yardage. Dickerson and Chandler are flanked out to the right side again, and here is the give to that uh, running back again, number 29. It's in there. It's Hughes. And he is to the 45, to the 43. He has a first down for Southern California. Harris it is on the carry. And he's the third back to be used in that position today. 17 first downs. And coming in now for Southern California is Barry coming into the backfield. Barry, number 23. Now they're in a pro set with two flankers waiting for it is Jones. Jones on the give to 33. Charlie Evans, the fullback, running off left tackle down to the 40. Just outside the 40-yard line. Where it'll be a gain of about three yards on the play. Making the tackle was number 75, Greg Marks, along with Jim Wright, the middle backer. Man, if there is any place that is least wet, if I may say it that way, it would be where Southern California is now running. They're running inside the hash mark on the near side, outside toward the sideline, where the footing is better, much better than it is on the inside of the playing field. Make it second down and about seven yards to go. Two flankers again. Waiting for it is Jimmy Jones, who's gone all the way at quarterback. And Jones on the give to his fullback, Cunningham. Cunningham off right tackle. Down to the 36-yard line of Notre Dame. 
And Southern California is doing exactly what they want to do. They want to hold on to the football, use up as much time as they possibly can as they sit here with a 10-point lead and 8 minutes and 40 seconds of playing time remaining in the ball game. Chuck Jacques comes in the backfield replacing Patton defensively for Notre Dame. It'll be third down and three yards to go for Southern California. Dickerson and Chandler are split. Waiting for it now is Jimmy Jones. And Jones on a give to his fullback Evans, who was belted for a loss. Making the tackle was Greg Marks, who started just as that ball was snapped and read the play perfectly. Hit him head on right at the 42. It's fourth down now for Southern California, about four yards to go. Then here is a must play for the Notre Dame defense. It is fourth down for Southern Cal. They have to get in there, and now Southern Cal is going to draw back and punt, and they're going to aim for that coffin corner. Ayala, back in kick formation on about the 45, gets his kick away. He's kicking for the side again. It hits at the 10, picked up by Goulias, or check it, crowding at the 10, and is brought down on the 10-yard line. He got a couple yards on the run back, that's all. It'll be Notre Dame's ball, first and 10 from their own 10-yard line. That was a 30-yard kick on the part of the kicker, Ron Ayala of Southern California. The clock shows 7.45 to go. But now in a double wing formation, Chuskowski right behind him. Heisman throws one to Gatewood. He's got it and goes out of bounds on the 30-yard line. 20-yard line, check it again on the play. Enough for a first down, so it'll be first and 10 from the 20. And Kent Carter, the rover back from Los Angeles, is the man who chased him out of bounds. So they'll mark the ball on the 20-yard line. He didn't get a first down. He went out of bounds with just about a half a yard shy of it. The series originated on the 10. The ball now is just a little shy of the 20. Gatewood to the right. Waiting for it again. The double wing is size when he's going back to throw again. He throws one out to the flanker back on the right side. Parker, he's at the 35, the 40, the 45, the 50, the 45, the 40, the 35. He's down to the 30. He's all the way down to the 26-yard line of Southern California before he's pulled down from behind. Parker was finally caught by Carter and Raela way down on the 25-yard line of Southern California. Or 26, the official is standing on the 26. 56 yards on the play. Seven minutes and 21 seconds of playing time remaining. We are in the fourth quarter at Coliseum in Los Angeles. Gatewood to the right. Minix is in the backfield. Split to the left. Parker's in the slot to the right. And Feisman is going back to throw again. Cox's arm throws and it is incomplete. He threw it behind Tom Gatewood. That stops the clock with seven minutes and 12 seconds to go. Errol Parsigian is going all with receivers now in speed. He has Larry Parker, Bob Minix, and Tom Gatewood, three of the fellows with the sure hands. And as he bids now for a touchdown, which would bring them within three points of Southern California. I mentioned Parker a moment ago when the series began. A little bit, I think, Ben, he come right back and uh, show me how he could do it right, right well again. Eisman has had a tremendous afternoon. He's attempted 42 passes, completed 31 for 404 yards. Double wing formation, Feisman back to throw again. He's caught! Back on the 38-yard line and coming in there with Willie Hall, the defensive right end. He had the blitz on him and he hit him. They just couldn't keep Hall out of there. So he dropped him way back on the 37-yard line. They're gonna place it down. Third down and 21 yards to go for Notre Dame. Clock is moving, six minutes and 45 seconds to play. A 10-point lead for Southern California. It's 38 to 28. Gatewood to the right. Minix is put out to the left. Gatewood, just a few yards to the left. Waiting for it is Joe Feisman. Feisman going back to throw. He looks, he throws to Gatewood. It's incomplete. Wraps the ball down on the 19-yard line. He was covered over there by Hudson. And that brings up fourth down, and this could be it for Notre Dame with only 6.26 to go. And now uh, Joe Feisman is coming over to the sidelines and Yoder is going in, so they're gonna kick and hope for Southern California to fumble that ball here in this situation. At least we'll back them up in their territory deep. Yoder, who kicked out of bounds on the one yard line against LSU, wiping his shoe off with a towel. Hudson goes back in the safety spot for Southern California. Off the side of his foot, he got a, a kick that'll be very, very short. 
It went out of bounds on the 27-yard line. 10 yards on the kick. Well, there's where that heavy ball came into effect, Van, and perhaps he was a little over-anxious, too. But anyway, at the punt of only 10 yards, still the Irish have an opportunity here because Southern California is still not in too good a shape as far as field position is concerned. The Trojans playing a great football game here this afternoon, and let's see what they can do to hold on to that football and need some more time with 6.22 remaining in the contest. High formation. Jones now puts him into a pro set. Jones on the give to his fullback. Going straight ahead to about the 28-yard line. He got a yard on the play. So mark that ball on the 28-yard line. The series originating on the 27th. And now they're going to put it down on the 27th again. Rule, that's where he went down. Cunningham is coming in. Evans goes out. Second down and 10 yards to go. Ball is resting on the 27-yard line of Southern California. Five minutes and 53 seconds of playing time remaining in a driving rainstorm at the Coliseum. Here's Jones now, giving it off to Davis, and Davis is hit as he reaches the 27. No gain on the play. In there making the tackle for Notre Dame, number 75, Greg Marks, with the ball on the 27-yard line. It'll be third down and 10 to go, and the Notre Dame defense pouring in there now, trying to get that football again. Coming in is number 27, that's Rod McNeil, and he's replacing number 28, Clarence Davis, who's been the workhorse today. Dickerson and Chandler go to the right side in the side formation. Waiting for it again is Jones, and he's going back to throw. He looks and throws, and it is incomplete, and the Notre Dame man fell down. Ellis, or he would have had the ball easily. And then had he intercepted, he would have had a clear shot at that goal line because there was nobody around him. And Clarence Ellis had left his man when he saw the ball falling short, had come back to try and make the catch, and as he turned, he lost his balance and fell. But it is now a fourth and ten, and Southern California is going to have to give up the football with 5.09 remaining in the game, and the score is Southern California 28, Notre Dame, Southern California 38, Notre Dame 28, still at ten points is mighty big. Ayala will kick, Crotty and Ellis are deep. The snap back to him, he gets a kick away, tried to block it, comes down to Crotty at the 42, the 45, Crotty is dumped on the 48-yard line in Notre Dame territory. It is a kick of 31 yards, so it'll be first down and 10 to go now for Notre Dame. They have the ball on their own 49-yard line, they have it first down and 10 to go, and Joe Feisman will try to rally him again with five minutes of playing time remaining in the ball game. And a 10-point deficit, it's 38 to 28. That's the ninth punt for the University of Southern California. Double wing formation, Chiskowski's the setback. He's back there to block, and Feisman throws over the middle. It is incomplete and almost intercepted. And Carter, the rover back, and Fabadakis were both over there. Fabadakis had his hands on it, so did Carter. So it'll be incomplete. Man, and he had a lot of vacant green in front of him had he held onto that football, too, because Joe threw it, and it was right to Papadakis. Well, the rain continues to fall heavily. As a matter of fact, you can hardly see many of the buildings in downtown Los Angeles from the top of the Coliseum here. Lots I'm, of water. I'm amazed this many people have stayed. Parker's out wide to the right. Feisman back to throw again. He slips as he sets up, and he throws it. It's intercepted by Southern California. And it's Carter down to the 45, down to the 40. He is down to the 37-yard line, and the Trojans have the football again. That's their second interception in this ball game today. The rover back, Carter, intercepted for Southern California. And they have the ball on the 37-yard line now of Notre Dame. And they have it first down and 10 to go, and we have only 4.48 to go in the ball game. McCarty, a young man from Los Angeles who was only a junior, 2'10 and 6'3, used his height to great advantage there as he cut the pass off and came down the near sidelines. Southern California has exactly what they want, the football in deep in Notre Dame territory. High formation, the pitch back now to the uh, running back, Davis, and Davis trying that sweep again around the left side is knocked out of bounds as he reaches the 37 or 38-yard line. Leidert and Patton are the two men who knocked him out of bounds. And they're going to mark it back on the 37, so there'll be no gain on the play for Southern California. The defensive unit of Notre Dame got that football back again, but then Feisman had one picked off, his second interception today. Dickerson and Chandler are flanked out wide to the right. The eye formation for Southern California. Jones going to give to Davis up the middle. And Davis is hit as he reaches the 35, falls forward to about the 33-yard line, and Fatulski is the man who made the tackle. 
for Notre Dame on the 33-yard line. Again, on the play of about four yards. It'll be third down coming up. Coming in now at full back is Cunningham. Joach is coming in defensively, replacing Patton. Well, Van Clarence Davis, who has played in the shadow of O.J. Simpson and Mike Garrett, is certainly coming into his own today, finishing his collegiate career with a great flourish here. High formation with two flankers to the right. Jones back to throw, flips one up in the air, incomplete. Nobody even near the ball. Notre Dame is yelling the intentional grounding of the ball. There is nobody on that side of the field. The officials say no, so the ball will go back again. Fourth down and seven yards to go with the ball on the 34-yard line of Notre Dame. Three minutes and 35 seconds of playing time remaining. 38 to 28 to score with Southern California leading. Punt formation. Gets his kick away and it's low. And it's scooped up on the eight yard line there, but uh, Crotty had his knee on the ground, so the ball will be dead right on the nine. 26 yards on the kick. <laughs> With his knee on the ground, the minute he scooped up the ball, it was dead in college football. You do that in the pros, but you can't do it in the colleges. Man, that's a familiar scene. This is where they were a moment ago when they started to come down the field so effectively, and they're starting again from deep in their own territory, are the Irish inside their 10 yard line. The only problem is now they have three minutes, 29 seconds to go. They're trailing by 10 points. Parker to the right. Waiting for it now is Joe Theismann with Chiskowski in the double wing. Theismann back to throw. The rush is on him, but he throws anyway, and it is caught by Gatewood at the 25. Gatewood is to the 29 and out of bounds. Knocked out of there by Ayala on the 29-yard line. It'll be a first down. He got 20 yards on the play. 19 first downs for Notre Dame today. Willie Hall, who trapped Theismann a moment ago, came in on him that time. A little Joe, a darning will-o'-the-wisp uh, back there, sidestepped him. Hall slipped and fell, and Theismann had time to hit Gatewood on a fine pass with a very wet ball. Wide to the right now is uh, Parker, waiting for it. Here's Theismann. He throws over the middle. It's completed at the 42-yard line. Humble ball, but the whistle had blown. Did he rule it incomplete? He ruled that he did not have possession on the ball. Larry Parker was really nice by Greg Slough, the great linebacker from San Diego, California. Just as he caught the ball, he hit him in the small of the back and decked him, made the pass incomplete. So it's now a second and ten, and the clock moves, of course, stopped now by the incomplete pass at 3.15, but it's moving on steadily, and, of course, this great game is coming rapidly to an end. Larry Parker is wide to the right to the white side. Joe Theismann takes it. Theismann going back to throw, throws over the middle to Parker again, the same play. Parker gets a block, but he tries to cut, and he slips and falls at the 45. First down for Notre Dame. Pacadapicus is the man who made the tackle. Pacadapicus is the linebacker on the left side for Southern California. The ball is on the 45-yard line. First and 10. Parker had a little running room, but he started to cut and slipped and fell. Three minutes, five seconds to go. Double wing formation again. Theismann going back to throw again. Throws over the middle again, it's caught. Right on the 44-yard line, Parker made the catch again for Notre Dame. Ayala made the tackle, it's just a mud bath out there right now. They're gonna mark that ball on the 45-yard line. It'll be another first down for Notre Dame. They have the ball on the 45-yard line of Southern California. Bill Bars makes his first appearance here this afternoon at fullback. Joe Theismann with a first down on the Southern California 45, and Theismann going back to throw. He throws one to Bars. He's got it at the 40 and is pulled down on the 38-yard line. Slough is the man who made the tackle on Bars, and there's no problem recognizing him with that clean white jersey. If you're wondering about Al Wester, he uh, had to get out of here to catch an airplane to Cincinnati, where he has a broadcast tomorrow of a pro game, Cincinnati and New Orleans. Two flankers to the right. Back goes Theismann, throws it. And Gatewood has it at the 30, 25, he's out of bounds on the 25-yard line. First down, Notre Dame. The Irish are moving, but the clock is moving also, and that's the big difference now. Two minutes, 16 seconds to go. It's 38 to 28. Beisman has attempted 51 passes, completed 36, 470 yards. What a day he's had in the mud today. You can't take any credit away from this young man. Menix is in there and split out to the right. 
Double wing formation. Heisman with the first down on the 25 is back to throw. He throws over the middle. It's intercepted by Ayala at the 10. 15 to the 20. 25 to 30. The 35. He's all the way to the 40. Ayala runs it back for Southern California. That's just about all she wrote right there. Four to the 40-yard line at the third interception of Southern California today. And Notre Dame was driving down deep in Southern California territory. Two minutes and four seconds of playing time remaining. And the Fighting Irish have to go on the defense again with the ball at the 40-yard line. First down and 10. Ron Ayala came up with what has to be almost a slamming of the door in the Irish face as the Irish had been moving down the field on some fine passing by Joe Feisman again. And Ayala, of course, with the key interception on the pass intended for Tom Gatewood. Dickerson and Chandler off flank. Chandler to the left. High formation, Jones fumbles the ball, but they recovered it, they being Southern California. On the 38-yard line, Jones recovered his own fumble. That's three possessive pronouns, isn't it? <laughs> and you can say anything you want. This, this day is so unbelievable, it's fantastic. Rain, the, uh, the lighting making it look so artificial, although it is only about 4.15, 4.20 in the afternoon, Pacific Coast time. Southern California with the football and uh, 137 left in the contest. Would you believe that's four fumbles for Southern California? They've recovered all four of them. Jones on the sneak stop right on the 39-yard line. Four fumbles and four recoveries for Southern California. And Mr. Jones is not doing anything right now except getting the ball and falling forward a little bit. There is a timeout with a score. Southern California, 38, Notre Dame, 28. Well, Jones of Southern California with a minute 26 seconds remaining on the clock. Uh, is simply going to grab that football and dig in for maybe a yard. The Irish, of course, want to get it. Southern California has fumbled. What is it, Dan? Five times recovered every one of them? Four times they've recovered each one of them themselves. And Notre Dame, of course, plagued and dogged by turnovers here this afternoon. Third down and about 11 and a half to go. Waiting for it now is Jones. And he pitches it back to Davis, who tries to cut, and he's dropped on the 35-yard line. Let's pause briefly for station identification. This is the Mutual Broadcasting System. You're listening to Notre Dame. 30. The ball on the 35-yard line, where it'll be fourth down, coming up in 15 yards to go for Southern California with one minute, 20 seconds of playing time remaining. Ayala's back in kick formation for Southern California. Notre Dame does not have anybody back. They're just going to try to block that kick. But Ayala gets it away, and there's no safety man. The ball will skid around down to the 15-yard line, rolls dead on the 14-yard line. They had 11 men up there rushing on that one, 51 yards on the kick, and that's his best kick of the day and when he needed it. Man, this is the same scene which greeted us twice in the last seven minutes as Notre Dame has taken the ball deep in their own territory around their 10, 15-yard line and tried to move with it. And, of course, they're running out of clock right now with a minute, eight seconds remaining. And a long, long way away from the goal line and still in the rears by 10 points. 38 to 28, Southern California leading. Rain falling heavily. And let's see, Parker comes out now. Minix is in there along with Parker. So, again, they have the receivers on the field. Heisman calling the signals from the double wing formation again. Heisman going back to throw, throws over the middle, it's completed out there to the tight end Creeney at the 30. He goes forward to the 33-yard line where it'll be a first down. Papadakis is the man who made the tackle along with Slough. One thing about it now, the Trojans will give them the short passes. They want to run that clock out. One minute and two seconds of playing time remaining. Gatewood out to the right. Waiting for it is Heisman again. He goes back, throws to Gatewood at the 40. Gatewood is out of bounds at the 44-yard line. Might have enough for another first down on the 44-yard line. The series originating on the 33. And Gatewood fought to get out of bounds. And Weaver was right with him. And along with Slough, it'll be a first down for Notre Dame on the 44-yard line, still in Notre Dame territory. But the clock shows now. 53 seconds of playing time remaining. Notre Dame leading by a score of 38 to 28. Double wing formation, Joe Theismann. Takes the ball, throws to the sideline pattern again at the 49-yard line. It's ruled incomplete. Incomplete intended for Tom Gatewood. Over in the right flat on the sideline. Hudson was the man who was over there to cover for Southern California. 
So the ball goes back again now to the 44-yard line where it'll be put in play second down and 10 yards to go. Clock shows 50 seconds of playing time remaining. That's all. Here in the fourth quarter at the Coliseum in a driving rainstorm in Los Angeles, California. Gould is out wide to the left. Tom Gatewood is flanked out to the right. Bill Bars is the lone setback in this double wing formation. Eisman is going back to throw. Throws one out here to Parker. The screen. Parker's at the 50. He's at the 45. He's down to the 40. He's down to the 38. The stop on the Southern California 38-yard line after picking up a first down. And Notre Dame calls timeout to stop that clock with only 39 seconds of playing time remaining. Notre Dame trailing by 10 points, 38 to 28. They were something like a 12-point favorite going into this ball game. Menix to the left, Gatewood to the right, Feisman back to throw again. He throws one deep and it's going to be intercepted. Down on the six-yard line, Hudson intercepts the ball. He's back to the 10. Goes to the 15. Cuts back to the 18, to the 20, to the 22. Fall down on the 24-yard line. And Southern California has come up with their fourth interception in this ball game today. In all fairness to Joe Feisman, then he just put that ball up in the air. He's running out of time, and he saw Gatewood going deep, and he sent Minix down deep also. And Joe just ran back and turned around, and he started to slip, and he put it up in the air. And it came down. Uh, without Gatewood under it, he had started to turn a move to the inside. The pass went to the outside, and Hudson picked it off, and Southern California has the ball and the ball game uh, almost certainly here at the 25-yard line of the Trojans with just 23 seconds remaining. Dickerson and Chandler are flanked. Dickerson to the right. Jones just falls on the ball. He's going to run out the time. They're going to take any chances here. There's a scramble for the football out there, and then the tempers uh, get a little heated. The whistle blows. They'll bring the ball back to the 24-yard line, where it'll be second down at 10. Winning now is Jones. He just falls on the ball. Fox moving 15 seconds to go, and I don't think they'll get another play underway. They start the count down here. And Southern California has upset Notre Dame six years to the day they did it before. You can hear the count, 2-1, it's all over. 